last digit of your birth year is zero then this is your uh, group uh, pile number zero god has a bigger plan for you so let's see what i what is god planning for you guys group number zero so we have this beautiful orange and white dragon for you guys uh, spring season is what i'm getting for you guys uh, so a spring season means what happens in spring season uh, flowers bloom there is all there is a lot of color right like that only in your life you're getting a lot of ideas that is going to be very different it feels like your soul is giving you some ideas divine is giving you some ideas so it's time to take action on those ideas because it is going to give you that spring season if you follow these ideas it will be like the spring season for you guys it will yeah this ideas will give you a lot of blossom a lot of growth it's like uh, you're getting the perfect fertilizer this idea is the perfect fertilizer and now now you when you're planting you're putting that fertilizer because of this fertilizer the uh, the flowers are blossoming that's what i'm getting here so a lot of ideas are going to be given to you guys please take note of that and work on those ideas take action on those ideas a brilliant idea is coming your way god is going to give you that okay and i even feel like for this group you need to be more spiritual uh, maybe having a daily prayer um, if if yeah if you are someone who doesn't want to go to temple or church it doesn't matter you know uh, you can create an altar in your own home and just pray daily if you are not in, into prayer maybe just a uh, meditating daily okay maybe if you're not into meditation maybe just walking in nature daily will be very very beneficial for you guys so opting a spiritual path like i don't want to you know focus yeah don't if, if it's too much for you guys don't do that just start slowly that's something i'm getting here just like a 5 minute prayer or maybe chanting also will be very beneficial for you guys okay so let's see Pulse zero. Yeah, this is time to like focus on your spirituality. I feel like there is this calling to connect with divine more. Uh, yeah, because maybe with, because of work, because of daily life, you are not focusing on your spirituality. There should be a balance between practicality and spirituality. i feel like you're too much focused on the practical practical side of your life so maybe focusing a little bit of on your spirituality is what is going to be 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 happening i feel for this group you will be aligned more spiritually maybe you will be watching more spiritual content maybe you will be reading spiritual books i feel like you will be being called to that and you will be doing that that's something i'm feeling here your yeah yeah little bit more you're going to focus more on spirituality yeah that's something i'm getting here and we have the specs here <laughs> okay maybe for some of you again specs like vision uh, uh and uh, it's like seeing the truth of who you are and when we are a little bit spiritual like when we follow that you know inner calling when we trust ourselves that's when we know who we are so here i i really feel like uh, you are going to know more about yourself that that you don't know you're going to find insights about yourself that you didn't know before yes more more about yourself you're going to find more about yourself that is what i'm getting here okay so let's see more here uh, for group number 0 yeah yes you have been very rigid with your values because we have the tree and the anchor you have been uh, you know you are you're you're a very goal oriented person i feel like that uh, you have a goal you work for it you achieve that goal you know uh, so so that's a very good thing to do actually taking action on goals but but sometimes you uh, yeah you lose you uh, you're focused on that practical side too much not on that spiritual side right and i feel like now you will be focusing on more on spirituality as well accessing your own uh, truth with this key knowing more about yourself so when we are you know when we are 
very practical very logical we might not be able to dig deep right we're just focused on the outside uh, more focused on the materialistic thing right and i feel like there is nothing wrong with that but here god is planning something different for you guys there are ideas that is coming your way that will give you the spring season but for that you have to access yourself right you have to access your own inner knowing and that's exactly what is going to happen here uh yeah you're going to access your own inner knowing here knowing who you are what well, yeah i i really feel like you're going to see yourself in a different light the way you have never seen yourself before you're going to see yourself in that way and that will really make you blossom that's why you're entering this spring season because you're going to know more about yourself it will make you more happy i feel like that that inner happiness is going to come because you are going to like you you're going to know more about yourself you're going to love yourself more there is your understanding there is more to me right not only this uh, job and all that there is more to me right uh, yeah because the once we start focusing on the spiritual path that is when we discover so much about ourselves isn't it and i see that is what is happening you're finding your own truth in a way that you didn't know before yeah because you were so anchored on a particular goal to reach a particular destination you just forgot the spiritual aspects so i expect you know there is there is something more to life you know you forgot about it i feel like that's where you're going to go now yeah so let's see call number 0 for else what is the message god has a bigger plan for you it feels like you have lost little bit connection to your own inner self you have yeah you're going to yeah maybe there was a connection before but for some some time the connection has been lost with your own inner self that you are going to do that reconnection here i feel like that you're going to be connecting to your inner voice to yourself okay so let's see that is what the plan is okay so what else here group number 0 so we have crested crane mars the center again centering yourself i feel like that being centered being grounded being rooted right and, and i'm getting the energy of the root chakra as well the way we are raised sometimes really really affect us right uh, our tribe or community so the values that we take uh, take from our tribe so maybe you have when you were young you were told that this is your responsibility to uh, to help your family member so you became the responsible one right and yes maybe you th- you thought yourself as a person who is very responsible who has to take care of other people no one is going to take care of you you are the one who is going to take care of other people so this is the way you were is maybe you are an elder daughter or elder son or maybe your family had to go through certain financial difficulties so you were always alone at home because your parents had to work they didn't have time or maybe you had to you you might have felt neglected by your parents as well and as they neglected neglected you i feel like somehow somewhere when you were growing up you neglected that inner you know voice right your your yeah you your own soul in a way because you had to show up you had to be responsible so you lost that joyful fun part of you because you had to become that responsible person uh yes that's what i'm getting now you can come back to yourself because you have done everything you have gotten uh, to a point where you have made a name for yourself i feel uh, for this group you have done now you can just relax and get back to that fun fun side of you there is a side of you that you that you forgotten about i feel like that and now it's time to come back to that side that's what god is planning for you so come back to that happiness that laughter not being responsible for a while right uh, not think about other people finally just living life in a way that gives you a lot of pleasure joy because 
because you don't have to be responsible now everything is okay and that, that's the energy here you have been so right rooted you have been so anchored like this is my goal i have to take care of people i have to do this i have to do that i have to do that and in that we lost lose our fun side a joyful side isn't it uh, and you are someone who is planning ahead you are the visionary you are again it feels like you're planning for everyone you are the one who is taking everyone to trips you are the one who is planning this 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 so much you are doing and it's like too much and you have you are okay with it actually you are okay with it yeah because it's 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 engraved now right it's like some when a, we, you know when we take a stone and just engrave something on a big stone and we keep it daily we keep we do it daily 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 the mark will be there and like that you have taken care of other people you have been the responsible one you have been in this masculine energy doing what's best for everyone that is it has been engraved in you now that responsibility so you are just going with it you are doing it it's okay you are fine with it right but in that you lost a part of you that was that a uh, goofy kind of you like that that wanted to laugh that want to have that style right you know sometimes when uh, maybe you when you are alone you you do that or maybe you don't do it now you have just completely forgotten that side of you it's time to come back to that side of you that's what god is planning for you where you can be not so responsible someone will take care of you you don't have to take care of yourself that's yeah someone is going to take care of you you don't have to so that's the energy here you don't have to be so responsible you can like have a little bit more fun in your life again and that's what god planning is for you i feel like a big smile on my face here <laughs> okay i don't know i'm getting this i'm feeling very happy guys the energy is very happy so it's like you finding this part of you getting to the spiritual side knowing more about yourself it's going to make you so happy the happiness that you haven't felt you are happy i'm i'm not saying that you're not you you are you have not been happy i'm not saying that at all yeah you have gotten your goals you have reached a point you might be happy with your uh, where you have come maybe you are someone who is traveling as well maybe you have your own fun ideas you are having fun in life i'm not saying that but this this part of you you have forgotten and you're getting back to that part the joyful part of you and it's it's like the happiness that comes within you don't need anything to be happy you really need any materialistic thing to be happy you're just existing and you are happy and you can be you you don't have to be very responsible you you can just let loose right that's the energy i'm getting very strongly <laughs> for you guys okay so let's see pile number 0 we have the griffon okay look there is this big beast animal guide again it it feels like this person is a little bit in distress here and they have this eye as well right they're not they're not listening to their inner voice they are just distressed they're listening to this this kind of a demon or this this fear of them telling so again this is something to do with your uh with your upbringing i feel like it's like the inner child you you didn't get a chance to enjoy your childhood i feel like you became responsible at a very young age maybe you had a parent who was not that emotional right who didn't come connect to you emotionally who didn't tell you that you, they that you don't have to be the, the responsible i will do it for you you were told that you have to be responsible you are a certain age you have to be responsible maybe you you there was so much of responsibilities that was put on to you that you didn't even know that it was on is it was not yours to carry but you carry it right again it feels like someone is like telling you you have to do it you have to do it you are the one who has to do it you have the one you to you have to do it so what what happened is like we have the toys and all it's like at the back they forgot that playful side right they they it, it feels like a child who who when they had to play with the toys they couldn't they had to take care of the household chores they had to take care of their siblings they have to do certain things that was not of their age that was not their responsibilities but they had to do it they had to show up for some of you it's like you had to become that emotional uh, yeah you had to give that emotional space to your parents when you you were not the one to give right so i feel like finally and that's why you lost that 
like the inner voice you didn't connect with it because you were listening to this person here who is so big this is so small like small voice right and you did that what they said right you did it you did it and then it finally engraved right as i mentioned when we uh, you know put a line on a if you, for example i put a line on this uh, table with this charm and i do it every day every day every day it is going to leave a mark and this person left a mark on me and you ke- you keep doing that right even without re- realizing and now you are kali that that is going to go away from your life and now you're going to access that inner voice you're going to deep dive into yourself know that part that you lost and you're connecting with it yeah that's what the plan is that's the bigger plan for you guys got it yeah okay so we have the number 22 as well so maybe we will be seeing to 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 as well so things are going to be so much balance it feels like your masculine energy was like high you were not you uh, yeah your feminine energy you were not you're not connected to your feminine you're connected to more of your masculine you're just doing doing taking responsibility not relaxing not on the receiving more on more on the giving more right not listening to their intuition just being very practical being very logical and now you're going to get back to that spiritual side of you that you're listening to that inner voice that you had like suppressed for a very long time you're coming back to it yes <sighs> wow so let's see pal number 0 yeah the empty room oh this is like feels like the ab- abandonment you had you might have felt abandoned you might have felt like you have to do everything no one else is going to be there for you so you have to become the responsible maybe you had to be at home alone maybe you had to do the task by yourself no one was helping you so that's why you became very responsible so you might have felt lonely when you were a kid right lonely don't know what to do uh, maybe when you wanted guidance no one was there you had to pick up all the pieces and do it by yourself uh yeah i really feel like that kind of energy is very strong and you you thought that you you are responsible for that that you are yeah that you deserve this much only you thought that right something like that happened when when this person was guiding you to do this do this uh when you didn't have to do so you might have felt like you didn't didn't make a connection with you, with the people yeah you didn't make an emotional connection you were felt lonely your emotions were not heard what you had to say people didn't heard you were you felt that neglect you felt loneliness not anymore not anymore not anymore are going to be connected to yourself and i i feel like there are people who are going to be in your life or are, they are already there right now who really really care for you and they will not leave you again i feel like you have a tendency of running away from people but the people now you're surrounded yeah the people um, now you're surrounded with or or in the future you will be sur- surrounded with people who is not going to leave you lonely if you if you will ever try to run away they will come back and catch you you're going to be surrounded with that kind of people yeah okay so let's see yeah you're releasing that pain i feel like the pain of neglect abandonment where you had to pick up your pieces now you're connecting to that bubbly that cheerful side of you that happiness that you didn't feel like uh, as i mentioned you might have felt the happiness but this is the deep happiness that you never felt and you're going to feel that kind of happiness it's like the spring season as i mentioned it's like it's inside of you you're blossoming that's the feeling okay i hope this is making sense but, but i i have to say this energy is very beautiful i'm feeling all the feels i'm feeling so happy i'm getting that goosebumps i'm feeling so happy really really that's what i feel like so maybe you will be feeling very happy uh, that's happiness is there it's not about achieving something it's like this inner happiness connecting with yourself and feeling good about yourself in a way that that you will feel like very happy happy tears will come out like i've never felt so connected with myself oh, i have this kind of yeah i'm like this person like you looking in the mirror and seeing yourself in a very complete different way and it feels so good oh i can't even you know i can just look i'm getting full goosebumps <laughs> i just don't know how to explain that my full goosebumps wow okay so let's see you have six of so look look at this card this person is traveling in the middle of the sea he is sleeping so peacefully he doesn't have any care he knows he is being protected he's alone but he's protected right 
but maybe before you were not like this when you were traveling you were the one who will awake where's next what we have to do next this person is not he is just sleeping he doesn't he is not thinking when he will reach no he knows that someone will take care of him that's where you're going here <laughs> that's the plan for you okay you mentally you're going to feel so great yeah your mental health is going to improve it feels like as i mentioned your your stress levels are reducing your anxiety is reducing as i mentioned the spring season is inside of you you are blossoming you are happy you are vibrant you are feeling that color okay so we have the four of pentacles look wow again if you look at these two cards it's like they are in their element they are just going by the flow they are not resisting on anything they are not resisting any change they are feeling safe and protected with this four of pentacles it feels like it's safe and protected and the sun is shining the sun is shining here as well right yeah the, you can see things very clearly you don't have to worry about darkness anymore right you yeah you know what's best for you you're thriving i feel like that and whenever you get some, any ideas to do anything take action on it. it it is beautiful look the world card as well again it's a chapter of your life a cycle where you were the one who was carrying the load that's ending now you don't don't have to carry that much right there is so much of peace calmness you're happy with yourself yeah and now you can chill right you don't have to be very responsible and your grace yeah again and that grace is showing up like you you're becoming more graceful you're blossoming from inside okay so let's see if you're someone who thinks a lot because you have to plan all the time maybe you're someone who thinks i feel like now you will not be that much into that as well you will have that peace of mind because someone is someone else is actually doing the work that you used to do someone is carrying your responsibilities now your bag is like you used to carry like one big backpack now it's like that backpack has gone now there are two suitcases um and one someone else is carrying one and you're only carrying one so you're just carrying half of the load or one by fourth of the load that you used to carry before yeah yeah that's what i'm getting okay so let's see wow wow look shower of prosperity wealth opportunity success manifestation so money wise as well there is more as you relax as you center yourself you're seeing that more prosperity more happiness is coming this prosperity can in be in form of uh, happiness but your wealth is also there but again happiness feeling happy feeling vibrant feeling prosperous from inside yes okay you <laughs> that's what i'm getting so let's see the final message from our lovely pal number 0 wow manifestation wow look manifestation look this toxic cycle of you carrying all the load is ending you are getting a manifestation where bees bees works in colony not only one person is working everyone is working right you are not the one who is carrying the load anymore you're not the responsible one now you can little take a chill take a break others are going to work for you and you're going to get that prosperity yes so that's that's what the plan is for you guys uh i hope it made sense i hope it resonated i would say it again the energy is awesome it's beautiful uh i was feeling so happy i would say that i was feeling i was having this big smile on my face and now also i have goosebumps <laughs> so hope it made sense i hope it resonated if it did give me a thumbs up i'll see you soon bye bye If the last digit of your birth year is number 1 then this is the message for you god has a bigger plan for you so i will be saying group number 1 for you guys so let's see what is this bigger plan uh so i feel like your heart is going to be at peace that is something peace peace you will not have to worry about your stability security uh, you will be feeling stable secure because i was getting this uh, uh, uh vishnu avatar kurma the toto is the total toto is a far is there of vishnu doing the churning uh to provide the stability uh you know when they were creating the universe they had to do the churning and many things came during the churning process and uh, and to provide the stability during that process uh vishnu took this avatar of uh, the toto is and i was getting that avatar i think it's kurma 
yeah okay uh wait a second i will check that oh yeah it is the kurma avatar it was its main purpose was to support the mountain uh during the churning season uh yeah they when they were doing the churning process uh so yeah it was the second avatar of uh, lord vishnu so it, to provide the stability right so i'm getting like your uh yeah your stability is protected god is planning that for you uh you do, you will not have to uh, worry about your stability you don't have to be very uh, yeah you don't have to be too protective uh, you about protective about your stability you don't have to look for the dangers because uh, you will be protected you will be safe that's something i'm getting okay so let's see uh, for group number 1 god has bigger plans for you yeah you are accessing your inner voice for sure now you can uh, look at the mermaid she is someone who is connected to her inner voice her voice is beautiful like the siren right her voice is beautiful and whatever she wants she can hypnotize like with her voice the siren i'm getting that kind of energy here so and with the key as well now whatever you want you can manifest that's what it is your your voice is like like the siren right i'm getting that like it's it's hypnotizing people are just attracted to you so you are actually attracting a lot of good things into your life stability security so you're accessing your inner voice you're trusting that you're moving forward with that and you're getting that getting that stability yes definitely stability is what i'm getting here god is planning that for you for sure and now you can trust your inner voice now you don't have to be so protective now you can just trust your inner voice you don't have to worry about the dangers right you know sometimes uh, financially if we are worried we are worried about what the, what if the economy falls like a lot of things now you don't have to worry about all those things when your inner voice is telling you something listen to listen to it and move forward you're going to get the stability no matter what that's what the energy is so accessing your inner voice is the plan i feel like that you will be listening to more of your inner voice you're listening to more of your heart and doing what your heart is telling you and that will give you more stability than anything else so you don't have to look outside of you protect yourself all you need to do is to listen to your inner self do what it do what it tells you and you will be safe secure okay So let's see what else here God is planning for you. I'm hearing the word stability again and again and again. Okay, so let's see. God has a bigger plan. So we have the Macau and Cacao. Oh, I think these two words names and we have the number 24 and it reduces to number 6 and 6 six if you if you look at the six energy it's the energy uh, of like caretaker i'm getting that caretaker energy right so where uh, yeah now you don't have to worry too much you will be taken care of your stability will be taken care of you don't have to protect yourself every day all you need to do is to access your inner voice and listen to it you will be safe you will be protected universe is there for you protecting you guiding you all you need to do is to listen to it i feel like that listen to your inner voice listen to your inner voice um group number 1 that's what i'm getting very very strongly for you guys you will be safe you will be protected you will not have to worry about anything if you're listening to your inner voice if you're trusting your inner voice you don't have to worry about anything universe has your back universe is supporting you you're going to shine no matter what and you will be attracting all the good things in your life so i'll just read this for you guys group number 1 within you shines a radiant spiritual power of vibrational resonance which can attract all good things into your life make peace with your experience and expression of power aligning yourself with your heart and knowing that as you enrich your inter interiority in interiority sorry with sacred practices to support your soul you will imbue expressions of power with compassionate wisdom 
it is spiritually safe for you to be empowered and you can be so with consciousness and kindness earth mother is generous and provides your soul with opportunity means and method through which your true self will actualize for the spiritual benefit of all beings use your power to flow rather than force and you will rally tremendous support for rapid manifestation so again listening to your inner voice following your inner guidance and taking action and not resisting it just going with the flow everything will work out you will attract amazing things into your life here that's what the plan is here okay so let's see what else for group number one group number one that was a lot of cards so <laughs> over here so i'll shuffle again wait a second okay so let's see what else for group number so we have the little mouse little mouse and if you look at it there is this b as well right manifestation of something that you want again there is this home there is this uh, rope and as this as they climb you can you have this home you have the stability because there is this tree that is providing the stability you're not going to drown like before as you listen to your inner voice as you let go of your worries and take action go with the flow you are going to be stable you're going to be taken care of divine will take care of you like universe is your take care uh, caretaker and universe is going to guide you protect you all you need to do is one thing listen to your heart and take that action and you again the siren energy like you sing and you can attract anything you have that quality so no more dwelling in the fear rather just trusting yourself learning to trust yourself you got to dis be disciplined there you got to learn to trust yourself sometimes we don't we don't trust ourselves we trust the outside so if economy is for falling right we worry what if our money will go right or what if our, about our job no all you need to do has to ha all you need to do is to trust yourself if your inner voice is guiding to you uh, to something just do that access that keep doing that your stability you're safe you're secure that's what i'm getting with this home your manifestation is safe you will be getting all the good things just go with the flow don't go against the flow okay don't again the mouse energy don't uh, don't try to micromanage everything don't try to see uh, the small small details it's better to see the bigger picture here don't try to micromanage universe as well yeah sometimes we do that we try to know everything no don't just take that one step what is intuition intuition doesn't mean that you will know everything about your future whether you will fail or not what you need to do what will give no 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 intuition is not that the way intuition work is just it will guide us we need to listen we need to trust we don't know what's going to happen but that listening part is important and as we listen we trust and we take action that's when we move forward but you know intuition cannot fail you your heart will never fail you that's something is the message here the more you are trying to know everything in your future the more you are like oh if i make this plan what will happen in the future i need to know everything then only i will make this next i will take the next step in that case you're you're disconnected from your intuition intuition doesn't work like that you're getting an idea you're working towards it you're taking action you don't know what is the result you're going into the unknown you're just trusting and as you have that faith you keep moving and you get the amazing results that's that's when you're connected to intuition if you're connect, if you're too much into future if you want to know everything then the you if you're focusing too much on that you will become more disconnected here so that's something you need to know okay so let's see again the mouse the depiction like again the mouse body is in the water right and its face is up so if you are focusing too much on the future outcomes right you are going to draw on but no don't listen to your heart then you will come up and you will climb here and you will be in this home where you will be very safe so you can trust your heart and trust it and take action accordingly don't get too too much into the outside don't don't get too much into the results right don't get too much into like i want to know everything you don't okay so let's see group number 1 
so we have the ocean again the water energy is very strong it's about our feelings our emotions right so the depth of who you are you you can trust yourself you can trust yourself and we have the eye here right you can trust yourself apoclopis i'm sorry if i'm pronouncing it wrong but i'm just seeing this is the eyes here right once you trust this uh, your eye your inner inner voice your in third eye right you you see the truth and then you will you don't have to wor be worried about getting tangled in, any, in anything you will not be tangled you will not face that obstacles you will move smoothly but once you are focused too much on the outside what others are doing do i have to prepare more when you don't you know our intuition will guide you your intuition is going to guide you your heart is going to guide you you need to access that take that key take one step one step one step but intuition is not telling you to prepare don't prepare but if it's telling you to prepare prepare right for example i'm just getting this energy when covid came there was this tissue problem everyone was collecting it maybe there was no use of it. there was no need for that again if you are yeah it, it really feels like you don't have to over collect you don't have to prepare you don't have to protect like that you will be safe you will be protected all you need to do is if your heart is telling you to do something do it otherwise don't don't do because other people are doing it yeah if if you do because other people are doing it then you're going to get more tangled but if you're listening to your heart you're not going to get tangled you will be out of it because your heart is definitely guiding you here that's what it is your heart is guiding you you are right now in this energy where you can access your uh, your uh, yeah yeah your intuition like it feels like you're accessing your inner knowing you're listening to your inner knowing just keep following that don't get tangled in the outside here just give that like just trust universe that's what it is all you need to do is trust at this time but if you don't trust if you want to know everything you might get tang uh, tangled yeah so and if you feel like you get you got tangled you can untangle yourself by listening to your inner voice yes and that's the message here okay so let's see what else for for group number 1 okay you got three cards let me take a look five of swords energy this is you know again the five of swords energy is like the hurt energy so in the past we got hurt right we got hurt in a relationship if you are in a narcissistic relationship right and then you got hurt so sometimes we carry that hurt with us to the to the coming relationship so even if our heart is telling you can trust this person our mind will go to the past and we will not believe in our heart and then we might try to do overdo something and and in that only we will sabotage ourselves right so that's what not that is that is not required at this time you can trust yourself if it feels good you can move forward with it if it gives you joy you can move forward with it you will know it exactly you will know what you want but at the same time the past energies the past experiences will come and tell you that maybe you need to not trust you need to over prepare when you don't okay so we have look again this is that 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 three of swords energy this is the past pain here yeah you're healing that past pain that's what it is now you can trust look this person is sleeping here and he has been guarded by these three bears he's protected you're protected universe is protecting you universe has your back they're helping you to heal the pain of the past right but are you ready to listen to your heart are you ready to go with the flow then then look new beginnings like a lot of energy will be gaining momentum there is passion i can see in your life there is stability growth ideas everything will be there there will be this energy to wake up every day and do things you know this this uh, this energy where you're feeling that vitality you are having the energy to do everything you're not tired you're not worried you will be taken care you universe will take care of you but can you trust universe that's the question here so this this definitely feels like you need to release that past pain that's what i'm getting here it's time to release that past pain 
pain. Sorry, it's time to release the past pain. You don't have to carry it anymore. It's time to heal. As you listen to your in uh, in a voice, as you listen to your heart, as you take action, you heal slowly, and your life is going to be full of energy, full of vitality. and universe is going to support you you're not going to drown anymore you can climb up right you can climb up and get the stability that you want here but you got to trust yourself you got to trust the unknown okay and don't let your past experiences make you feel like in the future also certain things will happen so i have to over protect myself no you don't like again that covid energy like when you're over preparing for the tissue when you don't have to you don't have to do that you don't you will be safe even if you don't over like if you don't over prepare it's okay it's best you don't you don't have to struggle like that you will get at the correct time things will flow for you at the correct time okay so let's see you will be safe you're safe to trust your heart oh look self employment and shower of prosperity for some of you this is like your heart go, heart guiding you to do something that you really love to do maybe you are uh, yeah you're being guided to take care uh, of uh, something that you love maybe there is a project that you love and here you can do it at the comfort of your own home as you do it at the comfort of your own home you're going to get that prosperity so again this is something that you love doing but you got to trust so there is something yeah definitely and universe will take care of you right so maybe there is a hobby there is a passion of yours that you want to uh move forward with right but there is this doubt as well what if financially i will not be um uh, not being uh blessed right what if i take you know i quit my job and i do something that i love what if what if in the future i don't get the money right so you are again this person i i will say this again this moment is someone who listens to their inner heart so your heart is guiding you to do something and if you listen to your heart and if you take action if you show up every day if you're committed to it you're going to be rewarded for sure right but but your your heart is telling you like do this work on this uh, you know do this full time but you are like no what if i don't get this much money what if this happens what if that happens so i cannot quit my job i will do this i will do uh, i will do it this on a side and what happens you are doing both of this thing and you are you are getting drained you are getting exhausted right and it's going to take more time to get that prosperity so here that's why one thing i feel like uh, you god is telling you you need to be committed to your heart you need to trust your heart if this is a hobby of yours you want to pursue you have to get, dedicate yourself to it instead of focusing on the result you have to dedicate yourself to this craft of yours and give your all and as you give your all you're going to get that stability here you're going to get that money finance financial financially whatever but maybe in the past you might have failed and that is what is stopping you from trusting yourself that is what you need to let go of okay so so are you ready to make that change career transition maybe for some of you this is about your career money right there is something that you want to do but you're not taking action because you're worried about the money or something like that you're not listening to yourself but universe that's why i, I got that vishnu avatar of uh, kurma right that is the stability stability yeah you if you are trusting your heart and taking action and devoting yourself to this thing you will be rewarded you will get your financial stability you will so let's see the final message here self expression look again the self expression came in reverse here so again why what why are you so afraid of what are you so afraid of maybe you're afraid of expressing yourself maybe you're afraid of showing your talents to the people uh, to other people so that's why you're hiding yourself what are you afraid of the more you're expressing yourself the more you're sh showing your talents to the world the more stability you will get so don't be afraid of yourself don't sell yourself uh, for short yeah you like the peacock it's a it's an attractor it doesn't chase the peacock has have have the feather wings right feathers tail whatever it is called and it dances and attracts the mate it doesn't chase 
because it knows its beauty he's very sure of his beauty right he knows that he can get if he wants it so are you ready for that you should be ready for that also you have the talents you have the skill and you can attract the good that you want so don't be too much onto the results just trust yourself take action show to the world how beautiful you are how how much talented you are how skillful you are uh, yeah and you will be rewarded for that you will get the abundance you will get the stability in return okay so that's all i have for group number 1 hope it made sense hope it resonated if it did give me a thumbs up i'll see you soon bye bye the last digit of your birth year is number 2 then this is the message for you god has a bigger plan for you a uh, group number 2 uh, so i was seeing shooting stars for you guys maybe a wish is going to come true for you guys that is what it is uh, maybe you have wished upon a shooting uh, a shooting star maybe you have a look at the stars and wish for something that wish of yours is coming true but for that wish to happen you have to get out of your comfort zone so i feel like there is a there is a transformation happening uh, i mean a change is happening there is a very positive change but that change is going to make you come out of your comfort zone and yes getting out of a comfort zone can be can cause a little bit of discomfort but that is going to be for your best okay so change is coming a huge transformation is on its way so listen to your inner guidance because your inner guidance is loud and clear and one more thing i have to say for you guys is cultivate compassion for yourself the more you are compassionate to yourself the more universe is going to bless you so uh, group number 2 let's see what is the message here be proud and be confident or confident be confident be proud of yourself and be confident okay so we have like wow we have the protection your peace is going to be protected even if things are changing for you guys even if you're getting out of your comfort zone even if you're leaving something behind you're leaving your past you're leaving your comfort zone behind you rest assured your peace is going to be protected you will be protected you will be taken care of right so so don't worry enjoy this change yes <laughs> getting out of a comfort zone sometimes can is a little bit little bit dif difficult because it will it will even though you want to get out of your comfort zone it can be a little bit discomfort yeah it will cause a little bit discomfort because something new you're going to do you're leaving something behind right but don't worry your peace your innocence is all going to be protected you're safe you're secure so you can listen to your inner guidance and trust right so you're leaving something behind with with this ex your your old life is going away and you're going to a new life where your peace is going to be protected so get ready to get out of your comfort zone uh you are you yeah, are from the caterpillar to the butterfly you're from you're getting out of that caterpillar stage and you're becoming the butterfly and when the caterpillar becomes a bit of a butterfly the process is little bit yeah it's it's difficult right it's not an easy process but during this process you will be protected so let's see group number 2 oh i'm getting an example of a person uh, who is going who is who has been uh, staying uh, for 20 years in their own home right with their parents and now they has a, they have an opportunity to go somewhere else maybe go to an, uh, uh, to a different country and study so yeah this this is a very good opportunity right i'm just getting that kind of uh, vibe here the example uh yeah this, that means you have to come out of your comfort zone and go prepare uh yeah yourself to uh, go abroad and study by yourself it's it's going to cause a little bit of discomfort yes but it's going to give you that growth yes right so yes and again as you are going to this different country your peace is going to be protected your innocence will be protected you will be safe and protected here that's something i'm getting here so yeah be ready to let go of uh, uh, your comfort zone here uh, so but if you stay in your comfort zone you will not get the growth so you have to get out of it right so that's what the plan is so let's see okay you have one card on the floor let me take it so you have the number 32 with wings blood and bone if you look at the number 32 it reduces to number 5 5 talks about change right maybe you're seeing 555 a lot as well so you are moving away from somewhere uh, you know 
somewhere that has not been that great you know the caterpillar stage it's caterpillar it's just stuck it cannot it doesn't have wings it cannot fly anywhere so sometimes we feel like that comfort zone is okay but maybe that's not what we want right so now yeah being in your home is good but are you growing there no right so like that only that's the energy here now you are going to a place where you're going to be blessed where you yeah even though the process might be this change might be a little bit little bit difficult like not difficult i would say it's a little bit or uh, it will cause a little bit of uh, discomfort that's it and as you move move towards this new new beginning of your life it's going to give you so much of happiness so much of growth so much of expansion that's what it is okay so yeah um, so let's see what else here for uh, group number 2 Oh, a oh, splendidly dressed rabbit. Oh, this is the place where you're going, where you can be you, where you can express yourself. So maybe you're in a just an example. What I'm getting is like maybe you uh, the example, perfect example. I'll say maybe you live in a place where dressing up or expressing yourself is not allowed. Maybe a certain uh, yeah, a certain way of dressing is not allowed. You. cannot dress the way you want to dress but now you're going to a different country and now you will be able to express there you can show who you are you can wear what you want you can express yourself you're going to be without those kinds of people here you're going to have that freedom you will have that independence that you wanted that you didn't get in your comfort zone and yeah now you're becoming that butterfly where you are you doing what you like expressing yourself in a way that you love so may this can be like may uh, yeah you were in a place where uh, people didn't allow you to dress a certain way now you're going there and you can dress it a certain way that you love you can express yourself maybe it's about expression showing your authentic side because now you're going to a place where you can be you because you're free you're the butterfly now no one is going to put you in a box anymore no one can no one can put you in a box anymore you are you expressing yourself showing showing who you are that's what it is look we have number 5 and number 6 you're going to enjoy your life so this comfort zone you're getting out you, you again this person getting out of the comfort of their house house getting out of the comfort of their house to a place where they have all the independence <laughs> they are yeah they are enjoying their life actually so let's see what else it's like moving out of your home to a to living alone and just enjoy you are your own boss enjoying your life no one to control but yeah but you know you know your boundaries as well you are not doing something out of a uh, out of the way or maybe this is an advice not to do that right don't do something that you will regret so let's see uh so yeah we have again independence the river you're crossing the river you're crossing the bridge and going to the other side we have this horse i'm getting independence independence that's what i'm getting here independence freedom this this is what it is you're getting out of that comfort zone maybe that what if the comfort zone was like a prison right so you're getting out of that prison prison enjoying um your life uh adulting right uh seeing life in a different way so maybe learning new things doing things that you didn't do before but it's making you more strong uh, yeah it's making you more responsible uh yeah it's making you more independent you're growing as a person right your character is development and developing your yeah your when we say when we see certain movies series we talk about character development that's what is happening your character is developing that is also something i'm seeing here you're becoming more strong more authentic you're standing up for yourself you're showing your uh, your authentic side to the people that you used to not do before you you're going to do that so this is about your growth and your expansion here yeah oh wow look the back of the deck is the self like there are so many aspects of you that you used to hide now you're going to be in a place where you can show who you really are you're not afraid at all okay so let's see what else group number 
Okay, we have five of pentacles. <laughs> Look, five of pentacles. You're getting out of that kind of period of your life. So again, this can be comfort zone. What if the comfort zone is prison where you felt alone? You're not going to be in that uh, area anymore. You're getting out of it. You're getting out of it, right? Yes. Wow, look, Queen of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. Again, I, I can say this, um, for example, this can be, I'll just go, I'm getting an, another example, right? You were in a relationship. Just for an example, you were in a relationship. In that relationship, maybe there was financial security and all, but the person you were with didn't show that kind of emotional love, didn't uh, show that that you exist you had to do everything by yourself you had to pick up yourself so it was like a palace there was everything but no love right uh, that was the energy so maybe you had stayed there for a long time because you felt that there was financial security right but there came a point where this comfort zone became prison where you were not able to express yourself where maybe this person was controlling you maybe they were controlling uh, what you wear right uh, how where, where, when you go out when you come back maybe there was a lot of control there were a lot of rules here right and that's not nice right that's not nice it can be a job like that where there was a lot of rules where you couldn't express yourself where you couldn't be yourself or this can be a household where you were felt always alone you had to pick up yourself all by yourself but there was a lot of rules where you couldn't be you right that chapter of your life is over yeah even though this is you know sometimes even if it's prison sometimes it becomes comfort zone because we are doing the same thing all the time so we are afraid for new things sometimes change people are afraid of change so it's like ah, it's going like this even though i'm not happy it's going like this like we say and we stay there but it's, it's not something we want so you uh, you know you are accepting that i feel like now you're ready to get out of it so again doing something in a new way so maybe you have been in this house for a very long time maybe you're, you were not going for a job because you were provided financially for example a person who is a stay at home mom they were not working now they are getting out of this relationship now they have a new world where now they have to work but yeah but even though they have to work it's a little bit discomfort because this is something they are do doing for after a very long time right but are you going to enjoy it yes are you going to grow yes are you going to get what you deserve are you going to get that love vitality back yes because with this five of pentacles you're not getting anything but here we have the six of pentacles because you have been you have started to show that compassion to yourself you have started to uh, show that uh, love to yourself and as you are loving yourself you're taking care of yourself you're expressing yourself you're wearing the dresses you love you're doing something that you love you're giving all that love to yourself and once we start doing it the reality is like a mirror it is going to reflect right we are going to get that back so here before even though you were in this comfort zone you were provided maybe you were not taking care of yourself because you didn't love that you were emotionally uh, not taken care of right you were not getting anything back because you didn't give any love to yourself because you were not happy there it was comfortable but you were not happy but now you're getting out of that comfort un uh, comfort zone you're doing something that requires a lot of courage but are you happy yes are you balanced yes I feel like you're getting balanced, you're becoming happy, you're expressing ex expressing yourself, you're doing a lot of things for the first time, you're enjoying it, you're giving that love, light, and you're getting all that back as well. Your, yes, uh, your life, like you're going towards more freedom, more independence, enjoying your life. Yeah, and you, you as you are like, look, we have the roses as well. You're loving yourself, taking care of yourself and you're getting it back that's the energy so let's see proof number two you know this can be any situation just apply i, I was just getting a little, little bit scenarios so but don't worry to get out of this comfort zone you're going to be taken out of it maybe many time universe might have told you get out of it get out of here you were resisting that change you cannot resist it anymore as this old life is falling apart you're moving towards this new life you will be you will be so grateful that this old life of yours is falling apart felt 
yeah when you go to this new life you will looking you will look back and you will be so grateful that that old life went away <laughs> yeah okay so let's see wow look you're moving towards abundance growth look these two people are smiling laughing they're enjoying you're going to meet supportive people you're going to be emotionally connected to people maybe there were times when you were not emotionally connected to people you had to you didn't make that bond you're going to make a bond with people who you love who you who care like again the six of pentacles energy here where people are giving you what you're giving to yourself if you're giving love to yourself people are giving you that love you're going showing that love to other people they are giving that that same love to you right so that's what i'm, I'm getting here you're being valued your what your people are interested in what you want to say yes you're meeting your tribe so let's see the final message group number 2 focus focus oh we have the octopus focus okay i will take one more card again the heart look there is this heart focus on self love focus on yourself as you focus on yourself as you give that love to yourself you are not going to stay in this zone you will get out of it so focus on yourself I feel like that's what is happening. You're focusing on self-love. You're showing that compassion to yourself, and then when you show that compassion to yourself, you will see that you deserve more. And as you see that, you're going to get out of this. You're not going to resist change after that, right? Yeah. Oh, we have this card of change. So yeah, let's see. Final message. Okay, you got resolution. and look you're going to find your tribe here there are people that are coming your way look again this is like a person who is alone they have to find every answers by themselves that's why you were stuck in this zone for a very long time because you were alone you were left out in the cold you were not taking care of yourself but once you start taking care of yourself you're meeting the people who you yeah who who you will be vibing with and now you don't have to do anything by yourself people will be helping you you're going to get the support you're going whenever you are finding uh, yeah finding difficulties if you're at a difficult stage like in, uh, as you move towards this new life and you're facing some problems there will be people who will be coming up with resolution you will not have to do everything by yourself so again this feels like a person is in a relationship in a one sided relationship doing everything by themselves no help no support just living by and then something clicks like what i'm doing in this relationship i'm doing everything by myself what is the point of this relationship and that's when that person chooses to get out of that comfort zone right it's just comfort yeah it's only comfortable because it's familiar it's not comfortable because it's because you are happy no 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 the, it's only comfortable because it's familiar that's what you know so doing something new means unfamiliar and everyone is afraid of unfamiliarity right but you are like not and not anymore i cannot stay in here it's not making you happy so you go to this unfilm and familiar life right that's why it's a little bit of discomfort it, it is but it's going to make you happy you're going to love yourself and as you love yourself what i'm get, getting at is like there you're meeting amazing people and now you don't have to do everything by yourself you're going to get the support the resolution whenever you're in doubt you're going to get the answers people will be there good people you are going to be surrounded with you are not going to be alone with this 5 and 6 here <laughs> as you balance yourself as you love yourself you are finding people who will love you for who you are okay so that's what the message is for group number 2 hope it made sense hope it resonated if it did give me a thumbs up i'll see you soon bye bye if the last digit of your birth year is number 3 then let's see what is the message for you God has a bigger plan for you. What is God planning for you? Group number three. I was hearing rainbow activation, and rainbow comes after heavy rain. So the worst is over for you guys. Good times are ahead. Colorful times are ahead. Maybe you have seen the worst. Maybe there has been a lot of difficulty, chaos in your life. That is going to be over, and now you're going to see more color in your life here. Ah, uh, yes. the hard part is over for you guys and one more thing uh, that uh, i am getting here is like your your please please pay attention to your thoughts because these are ideas 
that you're getting from divine and for some of you these thoughts can be your answered prayer as well so please take note of your yeah thoughts that comes uh, yeah when you're cooking when you're just in the moment you think something maybe that is a message from divine so please uh, take note of that so let's see what else here okay wow we have this ring and we have the dragonfly and the butterfly your commitment to yourself is what is going to bring changes in your life so take care of yourself keep doing whatever you're doing so maybe this group even if you're in chaos even if you're facing a lot of challenges you are believing that you will be able to overcome these challenges and you're committed to your own growth your own expansion you're trying your best you're doing your best keep doing keep doing it because things are going to soon change soon shift for you guys a positive cycle is what is going to be happening next a new cycle where you you can you are yeah it feels like divine is like telling you they they have they have seen how much work you have done how much commitment you have shown even when things were hard you listen to your guidance you listen to your intuition you kept moving forward that commitment that you have shown towards yourself um yeah not giving up on the things that you love trying and believing trusting this all is going to work out in your favor so even when things were tough you tried your best you showed up every day right so now this hard times are over here that's what i feel like your commitment finally those commitment the work you have done is going to show results here yeah we have this moment and the owl as well you have been committed to yourself you have been listening to your heart because even when other people told you that there is no chance you just kept that hope and kept moving forward that everything will work out that commitment the way i feel like it's like your answered prayer you will be getting your prayers answered so something that you have been praying for you will get it yeah and maybe for some of you this answered prayer might come in form of an idea as well and when you get that idea work on it because it is going to give you the results that you want to see so let's see what else here i feel like universe is promising you the changes that you want to see in your life god is promising you that there there are certain changes that you that you that you want to see in your life you have been committed to that right you have been working on that and you will see that okay so let's see more group number 3 god has a pick up plan for you what is god plan for you group number 3 we have songs of sangoma again song of sangoma it really feels like there is some sort of answers to your prayers coming your way uh, this is like a thought it will come in a form of a thought it will come in a form of a song like your ans answers you're getting your answers through songs or through a thought take note of it right or maybe an idea will pop up take action on it because that idea will give you what you are praying for So uh I'm getting this energy of clear cognizance here clear cognizance meaning like this person knows they intuitively know it's like they get their answers in form of thoughts they just know that that's the thing so uh, that's what needs to be done right and uh, when they do they uh, take action it it is what it is right they get their outcome for example this is like an inner knowing like you know about someone that they are not truthful and and later you know that you were right like that's the energy something with clear cognizance you will some sort of things that you want to have in your life you will get you will get the message 
through your ideas through your thoughts yeah something like that your soul yeah you will yeah again we have this mermaid as well so if there is an answer that you want you will be receiving that answer if there is something that you're praying you're going to receive that uh, answer through maybe for some of you you will be starting singing that song maybe you will be yeah you will be having some sort of songs in your head that may be the answer something like that okay okay so let's see what else here your answer prayer you're getting your answers uh, uh, prayer answer uh yeah so let's see what else group number 3 oh we have group number 3 and your 3 3 number yeah things are yeah the things that you have been praying for is going to be created you yeah something that you want to see in your life is going to be created yeah okay so let's see we have too many tears we have the number 5 too many tears too many problems right you have faced lord i feel like that's what is changing because we have the number 5 as well to yeah again this group has gone through a lot i feel like that maybe past few months were difficult maybe things have been difficult now as well there is something that you're going through and you're praying uh, for some answers so for some guidance if you're praying for some guidance definitely you will be receiving that very soon in a form of an idea or a thought take action because it is going to give you the results and yes even though there has been a lot of problems even though there has been a lot of chaos uh, the main thing i'm getting is like the commitment that you have shown to divine the trust that you have kept that is going to pay off you are going to see the other side you are going to see the rainbows that's that's what the message is here things are going to change for you don't worry what is card plan for you okay that's a lot i can't take that also let's see what else here the group number 3 so you have the seed wow look the seed so here again the seed can be this idea as well you're getting in form yeah your answer prayer, prayer prayer is coming in a form of an idea and as you get that idea as you plant that seed like that idea you're getting it you're working on it and as you plant that you're going to see the re rewards okay so this can be like you know, suddenly you will feel like i need to go there or i need to do this i need to take action on this do that because it's going to give you the results that you want to see so that that's like the seed and once we plant the seeds uh, and uh, this idea is like a seed that you're getting right and once you take action on that idea it's going to grow and it's going to give you that what you want here so and again the seed can be you having that trust and faith you nurturing it and now the seed has grown into the plant that you want and and it's bearing the fruits so something like that is there one thing i'm sure here what is for you is next is things are going to be more easy for you guys things are not going to be this tough things are going to come easy to you guys and you had you had planted a seed you have been nurturing it you have been committed to do, committed to it and you want to see certain changes in your life and that changes is what you're going to see next but again there are also answers you're getting if there is certain doubts you you're asking certain questions as i mentioned you will be receiving that that in a form of a song or through your thoughts something like that okay so let's see what else you might be seeing 10 10 as well and yeah this is like finally things the chaotic like the the chaos that you were facing it's over it's done it's gone now prepare uh, for good things things are getting better okay yeah so we have 
uh, eight of swords three of swords look at this energy a lot of pain a lot of stress a lot of fear a lot of anxiety but with this nine of wands energy look again there is a lot of chaos outside of you there is a lot of heartbreak there is a lot of stress anxiety but this person is choosing to set a boundary like yes i'm going through all this stress anxiety but i'm not going to give power to it i'm going to yeah even though things didn't work out in my favor even i'm disappointed i'm just going to try again i'm going to be committed to the things that i want because i'm trusting that divine will give me what i want right so i am not saying that you might have not felt that anxiety stress chaos because too much is going on i i feel like that it's it's there it's there but you always trusted that things will get better you always hold on to that thing you hold on to that little hope like things will work out things will work out even when you're in your external reality things are not working out because there is a lot of anxiety i feel like there is a lot of heartbreak that is causing a lot of anxiety fear right a lot of a lot of crying maybe you have cried also because nothing is working out right you have been committed you have been giving your best you have been doing your best but things happen again and again and again that is not under your control you might have felt but what is under your control is your emotions the way you think so you, even when you slipped like even when you thought in a negative way you reminded yourself like i need to be well i i need to see that a uh, little bit of light right a uh, little i'm just i'm just going to uh, hold on to that faith that everything will work out and that's exactly what is happening here with this ace of wands here new beginning where there is a lot of energy where there is a lot of growth expansion like you will feel that things are actually blossoming because is a wand energy for me is about the spring season as well i'm getting that energy now your heading into the spring you were in this winter season for a very long time no matter what you did nothing worked out right for you guys there was a lot of chaos a lot of disappointments a lot of heartbreak but you kept on doing like you you didn't lose hope you didn't lose your faith you trusted in divine and finally now you're going to see that sun you're going to see that rainbow right again the the commitment uh, i feel like you want to see certain changes and it and for that you have been committed maybe uh, by practicing gratitude or to uh, by seeing the little good things that you have in your life yeah you you have done i i really feel like that and and yes divine has heard your prayers they have seen it and yes they will be giving you yeah they they are going going to make your life more easy that's what i'm getting here things are going to be solved if there are certain issues things will be solved ideas will come in of sorts that's the ideas that is popping up in your head head that will give you solutions to so work on that as well so let's see what else for group number 3 here Okay, so you have time to go. Oh, look, um, time to go. You, this like packing this suitcase. This old life of yours is gone. As I mentioned, yes, you have go. You are ending that chapter where you didn't get the results, where you didn't, where you had to go through those same things, same uh, stress, anxiety, not getting what you want. Finally, that chapter of your life is over. you're you're entering a new chapter of your life with this ace of wands where you're going to see the progress that you want to see you're going to see your answered prayer things are changing for you guys here yes finally yeah okay so let's see the final message here go sip here oh this is about like people talking right supporting each other that's why i'm getting here like friends people been there for you support, uh, support but more it feels like you're sharing some sort of information with someone a happy news with your friends or something like that because you're getting your answer prayer i'm getting that energy as well so let's see the final message here 
a new beginning you're moving towards a new beginning as i mentioned you're going to see the rainbows the color and look at the color the you know the sun color things are going to be very clear no darkness you're seeing the light uh, things are working out in your favor health okay we have health card okay so for some of you if your health has been a little off i feel like there is good progress there as well you are completing that cycle that you were yeah something with your health maybe you were disappointed again and again and again but you tried it tried now you're getting that energy back vitality back your health is improving this can be your mental health improving physical health improving the reason your mental health is improving because things are actually progressing as well uh, so and now you have a lot of yeah the fear the anxiety it's it's gone because things are looking up here that's what things are getting better for you guys here i feel this group has gone through a lot of uh, problems one after one, another they say you no know, once one problem starts then another problem happens then another problem happens it has been a little bit of continuous problems in your life but finally those you're ending it it's ending and now there is this new beginning where you're going to see the sun here uh, there is a lot of clarity there is happiness you're seeing your manifestations you're seeing your answered prayer you have been praying for something you're see, you're getting your prayers answered yeah so that's all i have for group number 3 hope it made sense hope it resonated if it did give me a thumbs up i'll see you soon bye bye the last digit of your birth year is number 4 then this message is for you god has a bigger plan for you guys what is god planning for you so group number 4 i feel like the connection between you and universe is increasing i feel like that you will be feeling very safe in the hands of the universe you will feel that you are there is an increased connection between your spirit team your angel whoever you believe in there is this increased connection i'm getting you you will be feeling that connection very strongly so spiritually i really feel there is progress for you guys group number 4 you will be feeling that protection you will be seeing signs synchronicities messages from the universe you will have a very solid communication with your spirit team with your angelic team that's something i'm seeing here very strongly you will feel their presence you will feel that you're protected you will feel that you're safe you will feel like uh, you are in the you are in the arms of the universe and universe is protecting you like you're in the arms of uh, uh, divine protection like you're protected that's something i'm getting here you will you're going to feel that connection here okay so let's see group number 4 Look, we have crab and we have this hamsa sign with its pentacles. And crab, you know, they have a very ou- strong outer shell, but their heart is ve- their 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 internal is very str- uh, soft. So that's why they feel like they have to protect. So maybe you are someone who who have felt like you cannot show your true side to people because you get hurt very very easily, right? Maybe sometimes you might have felt like like you're very sensitive and it's a bad bad thing maybe your sensitivity you might have felt like it's an obstacle or something like that no not anymore now you're going to accept that sensitivity i feel like that you're accepting yourself and you're understanding that how your sensitive nature has always protected you and it's something that you that's that's an awesome thing i feel like that's what you're making peace with yourself your sensitive nature Yeah, you're not trying to overprotect yourself. You're not like he, you're, you. You don't want that heavy shell anymore because you trust universe now. You're safe in the arms of the universe. That's what I was getting here. Your connection with universe is so strong, so you know that you will be protected. Now you can express yourself. Now you can uh, show that sensitive side. You know, again, you will not be afraid to get hurt because you know that divine is always taking care of you and protecting you. you're going to show the sides of you that you haven't shown to people the sides that you were so afraid to show i see that you will be showing that as far as happening here you're yeah you're going to show the real you you're removing the ma- mask you're revo- removing that outer shell and showing the real version of who you are 
you are not hiding under a mask anymore you are you are showing other people the real version of you the the real you yeah now you will have the courage to do that so that's what the message is okay so let's see what else is you are going to accept the sides of yourself that you didn't accept before and that is what is going to make you the best version of yourself you are not protecting the way you used to protect yourself sometimes when we try to overprotect ourselves we hide you are not hiding yourself anymore because you feel like i don't need to protect myself because universe is protecting me they are guiding me and i know that now i can show the aspects of me that i hid before because i don't have to hide anymore yeah okay group number 4 okay so you got dragon fay of the west and we have the mother of star nations okay we have the number 44 again it feels like uh number 44 is the stable nature when you when you feel safe when you feel stable when you feel grounded you you're not worrying about other people's opinions of you anymore you have worried about it for so long and you have hid uh the aspects of you you yeah that that is something that is meant to be shown because those aspects that you hid is is what is going to make you shine it, it it is what is going to make you stand out okay and we have the feather as well right and here again the angelic connection your you, the connection with your angels will be very very strong for some of you i'm getting the vibe of star seeds as well uh, here maybe you're a star seed and now you are learning more about yourself yes like, again it feels like you're deep diving you know, learning more about yourself knowing how to protect yourself right uh, like yeah instead of hiding how can i protect myself uh because the connection between you and universe you know divine is increasing so you know you're getting ways you're you're learning things that you didn't have before so um you're meeting you're meeting right people at the right time who are guiding you that is all it is i feel like when a student uh, is ready the teacher appears i'm getting for you guys that's very strongly for some of you i am getting like a teacher or a mentor is coming your way that will make you understand about your nature more and how you can utilize your potential uh yes um yeah how can you utilize your own sensitivity you don't have to hide it you don't have to wear a mask for that you can remove it and how can you utilize it that's something i'm getting here with the monkey as well you know the monkey jumps from one tree to another and uh, the monkey is not stable it's like going up and down up and down up and down it's like they just can't sit still right and uh, and again it's that maybe it's with your head you can't st- uh, your head your thoughts can't sit still so that's why you kind of wear this heavy heavy uh, you know shell to protect yourself from other people right you feel like you need that and in that the real you doesn't come out the people never see the real version of you because you're so afraid uh, because of this overthinking whatever it is right but not anymore you can remove that shell you can be the real you and, and now the finally the monkey is settled in right it's not jumping from one tree to another it's like your thoughts are settled in because now your connection with divine is so pure like it's 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 like you you're going to have that uh, what i what do i say it's like telephone conversation like if you ask it out or something like that you're getting the answers through signs synchronicities and before maybe even though you were you were receiving the like you were getting the message but you couldn't decode it but now that's not the case at all you're able to understand what is the sign from the universe and so you know yeah, i need to do this i got my sign i need to do that so you're not overthinking about it you're getting the sign and you're taking action so a lot of signs angelic numbers uh, yeah there is no such thing as coincidence for you 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 are you are actually the awesome part is that you are understanding what is the message you're being given you're understanding it your connection is go- going to be very very strong with your angels you know you're getting your answers you're trusting now the monkey is settled down <laughs> it's not running from one tree to another so that's why again your mind is settled so now you can be you you can show your sensitive side that's what is changing here and that is helping you to become 
the version that you always wanted to become you're not hiding under a mask you're just showing your true side and you know what as you show your true true side you will be seeing that people are actually loving your true side like when you remove the mask when you're expressing yourself people are actually uh, actually loving that side of you and you will be so let's see what else group number 4 maybe a number that you're seeing is 999 as well because finally you are becoming this new version like you yeah your rebirth that's also something i'm seeing here you have completed a cycle now this is your rebirth and the insecurities that you have before you're owning your insecurities you're not afraid of your uh, that anymore you're owning it uh, so yeah you're loving those like it feels like certain insecurities made you hide something but now you're showing those insecurities because now you have accepted it because you are understanding it was because of the you know social media that's why you th thought that it's not beautiful so you felt like hiding not hiding anymore yes okay so let's see what else you have look you and alice you're becoming the best version of your, yourself you're wearing your crown and you're owning it that's what i feel like you're becoming the best version of yourself so look again build the lizard she he has lord of uh, you know tools and he's cleaning so yes you have been doing the work you have been letting go of your insecurities the things that you thought were not good were actually yeah again there you are a unique person right you are a unique person and you have a lot of potential but uh, but sometimes the people that we are surrounded with yeah maybe they are not seeing that so you feel like you're not good enough so you try to hide the real you and show a version of you that is not but not you and now what i'm seeing is like you're removing that mask and you're wearing your crown and you're owning it that's what you are you're cleaning all that thing i am getting like letting go of those insecurities owning yourself not shying away like you expressing yourself showing the real you here owning your yourself yeah okay so let's see group number 4 the ring oh wow. the ring you know committing to yourself the commitment that you have never shown to yourself you're showing that to yourself maybe you have oh look we have the prayer as well a universe like you are trusting universe you're trusting yourself as you build that connection with universe as you build that connection with the divine god whoever you believe in you build a tr connection with yourself you trust yourself you build that confidence because yes that's the thing when our connection with universe increases we we accept the parts of ourselves that we didn't before because we are not conditioned now anymore we are connecting with our soul more and more and more yeah we are uh, we are embracing our own uniqueness we are understanding we came here with this skill for a reason and we have to commit to that and you may you yes you are you're committing to yourself group number 4 you mean you might have con committed to other people before but now i feel like you're committing to yourself you're devoting to yourself because because of the connection that you are building with divine with your angels okay so let's see Group number four, nine of pentacles. Oh, what a good card to get! I was talking about you, right? And who is nine of pentacles? She is a single lady uh, making her business. She is living her dream life. She is doing what's best for her. Yeah, people might call her selfish sometimes, but she knows that she has to take care of her, take care of herself, do something for herself so she can, yeah. she can give it to other people right sometimes we need to do that for ourselves and i feel like the commitment that you haven't shown to yourself before you're going to show that to yourself you're going to be committed to your goals to yourself doing what what is good for you maybe you have done what's best for other people all the time that's why you have hidden you have that's that's the reason of you protecting yourself you were so afraid so you protected and you did what other wanted you other people wanted you to do but not anymore now you're dedicating your uh, yeah dedicating to yourself to know about more more about yourself to improve yourself i feel like that to uh, go, yeah to become a better person you're committing to that 
that's what the thing is yeah ace of swords and we have judgment yes yeah it's it feels like you could be going to be connected to your life purpose as well you're understanding why you came here what is your purpose you didn't you didn't come here to hide guys you didn't you didn't come here to hide because you are insecure of that thing or you're you cannot show that this thing because you're insecure of that no no you came here for a reason you're here for a purpose here and you're finding that thing you're finding your calling you're you're understanding what you are here for that is what it is next thing with this ace of swords and judgment you know exactly what you need to do next where you need to go where you need to give your energy what is your life purpose and you're going to do that that's what it is so the first thing i'm seeing is like commitment to yourself commitment to your own goals that's what it is and as you do it you know exactly where you need to give your energy you will be very very clear for everyone it's going to be different but it's mostly like you taking care of yourself you doing what's what you're meant to do yeah you're connecting with your life purpose you will be you will it feels like you will be remembering why you are here yeah you're not here to hide away because of small small insecurities you are here to show your talents and shine and that's exactly what you're going to do here okay so let's see what else here group number 4 I I feel like it's like the bear you have been sleeping on it for a very long time you cannot sleep anymore you cannot sleep anymore on it the sleeping time has ended you have been sleeping on this thing now it's time to come out of that hibernation yeah and let go of all the shit that you took from people and be yourself here and show show what you have been hiding for so long It's time yeah it's time to embrace your uniqueness and show the world the real you That's what you're being prepared here that's the thing Okay so let's see group number 4 and you don't have to worry because you will be protected <laughs> Look your desires are within reach her whole two hands are up she's like believing in herself it doesn't matter what your age is right it doesn't matter who you are what gender you are it doesn't matter you came here for a purpose you came here to reach your goals you have a destination to reach when you were born you were meant for that and you're going to do that now that's what i'm getting here look we have the angel feather here angel feather here two angel feathers right so your connection with your angels is going to be very strong as i mentioned if you have any doubt if you ask a question like what should i do you're going to get the uh, answers through signs synchronicities numbers coincidence if you can call yeah sometimes coincidence right it's not coincidence it's coincidence that is a way your angels gives you message you know, through animal spirit you're going to get and we have this point of view look this person is distressed and this person is accepting there are two points of view right either either we can not accept ourselves and feel like why i'm like this or either we can know we are like yes this is why i'm here this is this is the reason why i'm like this right and accepting it and moving forward so you're changing your point of view about yourself and you're like yes i can do this i can make that my dreams come true this is my this is my quality this is my this is who i am i don't have to hide anymore yeah so let's see the final message <laughs> intuition look solitude here yeah your intuition is going to be very very strong very very clear as i mentioned you ask for a sign you get it you know it that's what i need to do so i don't have to protect myself too much i don't have to hide i don't have to change because other people think i have to change i have to only change if i feel like that because my angels gives me message they me they protect me they gives me answer through my uh, thoughts through my uh, intuition right yeah so things are going to be very very clear for you guys if you are in doubt no more doubt you know you will know exactly where you need to go exactly what you need to do do next the path is going to be very very clear here 
okay so that's the message i received for group number four hope it made sense hope it resonated if it did give me a thumbs up i'll see you soon bye bye so if the last digit of your birth year is number five then this message is for you god has a bigger plan for you what is god planning for you group number five i'm hearing like your materialistic needs will be fulfilled your yeah your financial needs will be fulfilled you're protected there financially you're protected financially things are looking good for you guys okay so group number five let's see what is the message what is god planning for you i'm seeing sunrise sunrise oh wow look yeah financial if you have a financial goal uh if you have like again we have the tree maybe you want to take care of your family you want to you know provide for your family maybe you want to have certain savings maybe you want to buy a home maybe buy a car if any of those things you want look with this uh, with this tree not only you are going to be protected financially your family your loved ones everyone is going to be protected so if you have a desire to you know uh, to buy some sort of property or a home for your family to feel that stability that is going to be possible for you guys okay money wise this looks amazing money i'm getting you yeah more money increase in money uh is there financial security for sure emotionally you will be very feeling very very secure very happy uh, the way you're going growing financially that's what i'm getting so again if there is a financial wish like if you want to make certain amount of money if you want to expand your business if you want to grow in your career if you want to you know uh, study well and get a good job or something like that that will make your pr family proud that's going to happen here that is what the message is okay group number 5 let's see uh, again for some of you this is like you reaching a milestone as well that is not only going to make you proud but your family proud as well it's going to be a very emotional thing like happy everyone will be very happy uh, for you guys because you have uh, reached a milestone you making people proud yeah maybe you you will be in your family to do something for first maybe you are then you are in your family will be buying a home uh, that is providing security to your family so it's it is going to be a very emotional thing because tears will be coming out in a happy way uh, people will be very proud of you that is what i'm getting very strongly or maybe you're passing some examination or you're getting an amazing job that it, that that is of high salary so that's why it's a, it's not only a wish of yours it's a wish of your family as well and it's not only going to make you proud but it's going to make your family as well proud here so let's see what is god planning for you group number 5 Okay wow things are progressing so you know effortlessly for you guys look again it feels like uh, someone you know who, a person who uh, they are an athlete and they are preparing for their uh, race so they are very sure that they can win they have you know they've practiced they've done all the work they have uh, you know um, yeah they have done their best work they've done all the hard work so now it's the time of the test right it's now the competition and they know that this person is looking so confident they know that they they have the cap capability to run fast and they're going to run at uh, this much uh, yeah in, in seconds they are going to reach the finish line it it feels like they they have that confidence now so it can be you preparing for an examination and you're doing all the hard work now you have the uh, courage and confidence that you can pass that even if the question is tough you know that you have you are so prepared that you know that you will finish you you are at the finish line and that's exactly what is happening things are going to progress for you guys financially as well maybe uh, yeah that's the reason because now you are working on your skills your talents you're giving your best and ha as you have given the best as you have done your part divine is going to do their part right so So what I'm seeing is like fast progress for you guys, momentum building up, things moving fast for you guys. 
wherever there were delays wherever there was lack of opportunities uh, wherever there were setbacks that's all going to change and things are going to progress very fast for you guys there with this ostrich it's like it runs very fast right so that's what i'm getting here the energy okay so let's see group number five we have making use of the ink and we have the door in the tree yes again you know life when when life gives you lemon you make a lemonade that's what i'm getting here in this that's exactly happened the queue through the ink bottle and but that made you whatever left uh, was whatever ink was left he used it for writing right like that it is that's the energy even when you were facing those delays even when things were not progressing you kept going like this nail you kept your heart right you you had this again this nail has this home on the back you you had a plan right you wanted to grow something in your life you want to build your career whatever it is you kept moving 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 and used whatever resources you had right you used uh, whatever was provided for you guys so if you're a student maybe there were uh, maybe the people around you had a lot of resources but you didn't but you made use out of those resources and did your best you kept moving even it was if it was slow and now this new door is opening for you guys where things are progressing for you guys your hard work your dedication uh, yeah again even even if you didn't have that much money to save whatever small amount was there you saved you used your resources to your advantage i feel like you made uh, yeah it, it feels like you made the best out of your situation even if there was that much not available for you but you made what was available and used to your advantage that is one of your one of your strength guys yeah again making lemonade or when life gives lemon we make lemonade that's the energy i'm getting here you didn't allow those tough times to put you down you kept moving like a snail yes you became a snail because you couldn't walk very fast right and the energy is so different we here we have the snail and here it's the ostrich <laughs> right the energy is gaining momentum for sure where there has been where you have been moving like a snail you're going to move like an ostrich you can run fast things will be going very very fast for you guys that is like a lot of opportunities your new doors are opening for you guys because you did your best here and you should be proud of yourself group number five okay so let's see and i feel like divine is very proud of you that how you use those resources when uh, yeah maybe people around you wouldn't have even thought like we can use certain things uh in this way right you did that <clears throat> <clears throat> okay so let's see whatever opportunities small opportunities you had you made use of it yeah if you have talent you know we don't need so much resources for example a person who is starting a youtube channel maybe you just had a small camera right you did it with that you didn't go for that big things and all you didn't need that resources you used the small things and made the best out of it and in that area yeah you tried your best you did your best and now things where things were going so slow things are moving so fast for you guys yeah <clears throat> so let's see wow okay we have the castle <laughs> yes you be building a castle for yourself you had a plan all over look the snail is carrying this home you had a plan in your heart you wanted like again you wanted something from your life even though you didn't have it you had that plan you had that vision and you made the best out of whatever you had right but in the hopes to making it big right even if we, if you like for example a person who has 1 dollar they are using that 1 dollar to their advantage so they can make that 1 dollar uh, into 100 dollars that's what your vision was and that's exactly where you're going yes you yeah with this castle look again your your financial security something you're building a home something like that is happening here yeah okay so let's see group number five what else is the message here for you guys what is god planning for you where you thought you could just build a hut 
now you're building a castle but yeah again it feels like you had little bit resources only but you use that resources to the, your advantage now now what are you getting a castle because of your dedication you know i'm i'm reminded of a story of lord krishna and his friend uh, his uh, his friend was very poor he comes to visit him and um, he didn't have enough resources but whatever he had he utilized it uh and finally krishna lord krishna blessed him with a a very beautiful home something like that that's the energy i'm getting here that's the story is coming uh yeah coming into my mind for you guys yeah when your dedication is so beautiful right when you're using what you have to your advantage and you're just living happily and doing what's best god will bless you right that's the energy here so where you thought you will get a heart you're getting a palace you're getting a castle something like that where you thought you will get a little bit only you used your with the resources to your advantage you thought this much only i'll get you're getting a trap yeah you're getting the double or triple thing so maybe you wanted a job and you thought that this much salary only i want and it's a big thing for you but you because the way you are and the way you have paid you're getting more than you're thinking of something better is happening then you expect then you're expecting yeah so let's see crop number 5 we have wow we have king of pentacles definitely i can see that um uh, for you guys we have the moon the fool king of pentacles here yeah look again the fool you yeah again maybe people have even thought that what a fool you are like me how you can do this 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 you know uh, again you know i'm even uh, reminded of a person on instagram that uses like uh, leaves and uh, flowers to make dresses so he is using his situation he's a little bit i don't feel, uh, yeah maybe they don't have that much money so they are using what they what resources they have and showing it to the world they're showing the talent that's the energy i'm getting here completely you might not have a lot of resources but whatever you have you're using it to your advantage you're showing it to the world and and yes it's it's little bit like the moon energy you don't know whether it will take you to the next level but you have this big big vision i feel like that you have a plan you want to you want to grow something in your life you want to achieve something big in your life but what i'm getting here you might yeah you might for yeah it feels like you are yeah you just want a home uh, and you just want like little bit of stability but that's not what you're getting you're getting more than you have asked for that is what it is with this king of pentacles yeah that's exactly it. it feels like you i will just give you an example of a person who doesn't have that much resources so whatever resources they have they are trying to build a small home but they are building it in a, it in a way right in in and in, in that they using their skills their talents they using yeah they have that faith that it will work out uh, they have a plan and they believe in that uh, that plan they don't know how it will come into fruition but they are just trusting and then they're taking action on it and even though they're worried they're just believing they're just trusting their intuition they're listening to their hearts they're just moving forward with it and then they are getting more than what they expected they're getting big blessings you're getting big blessings here so that's what the message is it's it's better than you expected something better you expected for a stable home like you're getting a palace like you're getting a castle that's the energy here wow okay so something that was very slow it's moving very fast as well here okay so let's see what else here for my lovely group number 5 what else again the fool energy is also like the unexpected kind of energy here something that you didn't thought it will be big it's becoming big unexpectedly suddenly things are moving forward yeah yeah Th this look this chapter of your life where you felt like you didn't have enough resources where things were not moving forward that chapter of your life is gone it's done it's completed now it's like a beginning of a new journey where you're getting your wish come true where you're getting growth 
where things are moving fast for you guys the uncertainty is fading away you're seeing progress yeah okay so that's what the message is here so final message for my lovely group number five you have number 41 and that reduces to number five and your group five so things are changing okay so let's see again it feels like the passport here is there you never thought that you will travel somewhere else maybe you're going to traveling yeah maybe you again it feels like maybe you just wanted a, a job in your country but now you're getting a job abroad that is paying you well yeah something unexpected some, this is unexpected this blessing of yours is something unexpected but it's going to be so much better than what you have uh, yeah what you have planned for yourself yeah and uh, uh, yeah we have curiosity here it feels like right now wherever you're going you're right on track keep going keep listening to your intuition be curious about it take action because something amazing is definitely happening you know the for you guys this title matches very well god has a bigger plan yes god has an amazing plan for you guys god is giving you something more right you asked for uh, yeah you asked for a small thing but you're getting a bigger thing you might have asked to, uh, yeah, you might have just prayed for like this much salary I want, but you're not getting that. You're getting more than that. You're getting more than what you have asked for. That's what I'm getting. So keep listening to your intuition. Trust it. Keep moving forward because amazing. It's it's a big blessing. I would say that God is planning a big, a big blessing is coming your way. It's like a wish coming true, but what you have wished for, this wish is so much 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 better than your wish it is going to make you so happy that's what i'm getting here and emotional as well because you might not have expected this this to be this big here <laughs> yeah okay so that's all i have for group number five hope it made sense hope it resonated if it did give me a thumbs up i'll see you soon bye, -bye. If the last digit of your birth year is number six, then this message is for you. So God has a bigger plan for you. What is God planning for you next? It feels like the energy of dance, the energy of excitement is there. Uh, yeah. Okay. For some of you, some sort of secrets are going to be out, coming out. That will really clear a lot of things. And you will be feeling that kind of relief because you have all your answers yeah something was hidden in your life right i'm getting that energy something was hidden in your life and because this was hidden from you you didn't had certain answers you didn't have that puzzle piece so for example a person who is playing uh, like they have this puzzle pieces you know that game right where there are a lot of puzzles and we have to join it and to make that complete picture but you had this you had all the pieces but only one piece was left right that's the energy i'm picking up and because you didn't had that one puzzle piece it was somewhere else it was it was hidden from you you didn't get that puzzle piece so your picture was never complete your puzzle was never complete that's the energy here and now you're getting that puzzle so you are completing that image here that yeah you're completing so you have your answers and now as, as a person a person who is working on their puzzles after it completes they're going to be very happy so you're getting your puzzle piece something is completing and that's making you happy so i'm getting like some sort of secrets are coming out for you guys that will complete something in your life because the secret is coming out you will be clear about something you will get your conclusion something will be mended or maybe this is like a closure that you wanted you're getting so you now you can move on to the next thing so something was uh adhura the word adhura is coming right adhura means something that was like not complete incomplete yeah the word incomplete something was incomplete in your life you have always felt like it's incomplete so you tr again uh, uh, in your ta on your table you have this puzzle piece and everything is done you have maybe you have worked on that puzzle for a very long time to complete the puzzle but one thing is missing and it feels uh, uh, incomplete even though it's just a one peak puzzle piece it feels incomplete so in your life there was something that was incomplete 
and you didn't know even though you moved away from that thing you have always felt that that kind of energy of that it's it's incomplete you wanted some sort of closure and now you're getting that puzzle piece you're getting that closure and now you're happily moving to this next phase of your life where this thing is not going to bother you because the answers that you wanted are there you are very clear there is no hidden energy nothing is hidden you know everything so now you can feel complete and move forward so this means like an emotional thing i feel for many of you emotionally something something is mended now you don't have to look back now you don't have to feel uh, feel like you have to search for this thing because it's done it's over now you can move on with your life so that's why it's it's exciting because finally it's ended finally there is no feeling of incompleteness in your heart yeah okay so group number 6 let's see yeah wow look you have the heart like there is a wish and we have this go anchor you were not able to anchor your heart like again this is like you want to go here right and you, there is this bridge right and you are here and all you need to do is to walk this bridge and go here right i hope this is making sense but your heart like okay i will say this again this is where you are right now okay and this is where you have to go your heart is calling and you know you know the way as well there is this bridge but some things a small part of you is telling you stay here don't go there stay here because there is some sort of void in your heart so you are not able to anchor your heart to go this side something is stopping you because you you feel like something is incomplete the same thing i'm getting here with these three charms so now what it is you're getting your answers and that is one of your wish that you wanted the closure you wanted it uh, you didn't want to feel like something is incomplete you wanted to complete it you wanted to know everything so you can peacefully go to this other side and that's exactly what is happening now you can anchor your heart and just like you can go like i'm ready to go there my heart is free now yeah, i'm going to anchor my heart to something new to this new chapter of my life and i'm going to go there nothing from my past no no emotion nothing i'm not keeping anything here now i'm leaving everything behind like nothing i'm not taking anything i'm not feeling incomplete i'm feeling completed i'm satisfied and that's why i'm moving here the reason why i was not able to move here because there was this kind of uh, lack of closure or something like that now i got that i'm here so yeah that's what the uh, message is okay i hope this is making sense so uh, yeah maybe there is a situation in your life like that okay so let's see group number 6 what is god planning for you so it feels like a book i'm i'm being shown a book you were refusing to go to the next page or maybe this is the book you have been keeping the next chapter again you know there are many volumes of a particular book you were in this volume 1 because something was not right you were like no i cannot go to the volume 2 uh, because i want something from this book then only you can go so again it really feels like i am saying the same thing in different scenarios i don't know why so it feels like now you are ready to take that next chapter you are ready to pick up the next book something like that okay sorry <laughs> uh, because i'm 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 been shown that same thing so that's why i had to say anyways let's see what is god planning for you what is god planning for you Oh wow good times ahead look yes again your heart is filled with love now there is there is like yes this is done this is completed i can just move on to this next thing yeah and we have this four leaf clover as well right and the two sides and you're going to this new journey where you're going your heart is going to be so happy so fulfilled it's like one cycle you have completed something something that was incomplete is completed so god is helping you to complete something that was incomplete so you can live your life in a way that really makes you happy because yeah as i mentioned there was this two uh, things you were here and you maybe you have already went here and you came back here because 
there was something missing so you couldn't stay here right you you might have tried to go here and then you came back then you might have tried to go here then you came back because something was missing but not now this time you're not going to come back here because you will not feel that missing you will not feel incomplete you will feel satisfied and you will be ready to move forward so a cycle a huge cycle is being completed in your life you're not going back anymore to the same old thing you will not feel incomplete you have all your answers now you're di- dancing with excitement you're looking forward only you're not looking back anymore you used to look back again and again because the feeling of incompleteness yeah you were feeling adhura something was missing a part of you was missing so you were trying to go back again to that thing go back not anymore now you're just looking forward you have a goal you have a, you, your heart is set on the goal and that is to move forward keep moving forward uh, to live life in a, a joyful way to be more excited for life to be more happy you are going that that side okay that's what i'm picking up for you guys that's what the message is and i'm going to read for you guys as well the message from the book for the card because i feel like that okay Forasic ambitions will not satisfy you. Your heart is capable of grand visions worthy of your soul. Such magnificent manifestation requires complete transformation as spiritual fuel for actualization. The worthy soul vision awakens such yearning in your heart that you will be willing to overcome all obstacles, all fears, all doubts in order to live it. Your courage attracts divine assistance to protect the path and reveal the way. Your path is assured and you do not have to be afraid. Timing of all things is divine even delays are on your side. So interestingly, yeah. Yeah, so <laughs> look again. Uh, yeah. Poetic ambitions will not satisfy you, and I was talking about that incompleteness and not satisfying. Something was not satisfying you. That's why you were returning back. Now you've completed that cycle. Uh, yeah, that cycle. Now you can move forward. That's the energy I'm very, very uh, strongly feeling. And I hope uh, maybe for some of you that message um, might give you some information as well. So let's move on to the next cards. Um, group number six. so we have too many tears look too many tears right um the number 5 you were waiting yeah again maybe for some of you just wanted to go get out of that cycle that feeling but you were not able to escape it somehow somewhere you were like i want i want to release this completely then only i'm going to go to this next part because i know if i leave it and complete and go to this next part i will not be happy i'll not be satisfied it is not going to give me that kind of relief or fulfillment i know myself and i feel like with this too many tears you're completely releasing it as i mentioned you're getting the puzzle piece you're getting all your answers nothing is hidden from you anymore and now you're able to release that thing completely that cycle one cycle huge cycle of your life is completed here and now you're going towards a life that you really really will enjoy it will satisfy you you will feel happy okay so let's see uh, what else for group number 6 the village oh the village it feels like leaving something behind the village right yeah village is a, yeah it's like you were not able to leave this place it can be leaving yeah you wanted to leave this place behind but you used to come back to that place again and again and again because you felt like something is missing something is hidden some secrets are there finally you're getting the secret you're concluding something and now you're on to this next chapter of your life that's exactly it can be people as well it can be people mending relationships so you can actually move move on move on you're moving on with your life this can be relationship this can be a job this can be anything right but this is something something you used to come back and then you get involved in it and then you then you cannot get out of it right it can be a habit also that you were, you were not able to release it completely it can yeah and finally now with this village you're leaving that village that place now you're not going to go back there 
you have learned everything you have gotten all those answers now not going back anymore you are starting new okay so let's see group number 6 Okay, group number six. What else is got planning for you? We have eight of swords. We have ten of oh look. This is what you're leaving behind. You were so afraid to leave some place, community. You were so hurt because again there was something missing, right? There was some sort of yeah. You were not yeah. Again, this is like disappointment. This is like uh, heartbreak, stress, anxiety. again this is you are not because of this you are not able to create a life that you want to live look at this ten of pentacles they have their home they are happily living but there was something because you didn't get the closure you were not able to heal your heart and you used to go back to this part of you again and again and again and this whenever you used to go to this part of you, uh, you again and again and again you felt incomplete you felt that heartbreak but no matter how hard you try to get out of it you try you might have tried many times to get out of it and you have found that you're feeling incomplete and you used to go back to that that emotion or that place and it didn't make you happy it made it made your feelings more worse right it didn't satisfy you but you cannot get out of it also it's like again it's like a trap place when you get out of it you want to go back there again and then you go back and you feel more bad because you know there is a yeah there is a amazing place that is waiting for you but you keep going back there again and again and again to get hurt again and again and again because you wanted some side of sort of closure that part is gone it's ended now you're not returning now you're not returning to that place anymore you have healed it you have released it now you're going to your happy place with this 10 of pentacles not this place here yeah because you have got in the full picture you have got in all the sec uh, secrets the puzzle piece is there now you can create a happy life for yourself that you really want now you can just give all your heart to this thing because again you were not anchoring your complete heart to something because something behind was feeling incomplete you didn't get the closure and that was actually not giving you that happiness in this life yeah because you were going back to something from your past again and again and again and again because you felt some sort of closure is required you didn't get the closure finally you're getting it now you're not looking back and now you're going to create that peaceful happy life financially you know maybe with a partner yeah finally that's what the plan is yeah okay so okay let's see what else is the message yeah look evolution here yeah look empowerment transformation protected preparedness again you are wearing your crown finally you are yeah you are evolving finally you are not staying stuck anymore in this village because you were going back again and again because you felt like there was something for you so even though something amazing was there on the right side you used to go back to the left side again and again and again and again but now there are some secrets you have gotten you have gotten the complete picture now you have evolved as a person now you are not going back you know there is nothing there it's just a dry land i don't have to go there anymore you got your answer yeah okay so let's see the final message here manifestation like now you are going to build a community that you will love that yeah it, it, again it's like this is something bees works in community right and we have the 10 of pentacles energy as well you were not able to dedicate your complete heart to something because something was missing in, in the past here yeah, you were going back to there so you can couldn't dedicate your uh, complete attention your heart completely to this to your family or whatever it is right because there was something missing here but now you have gotten the complete picture you have gotten your closure you have grown out of it you have evolved now you're going to do something that really makes you happy be makes you be makes the people around you happy now you will feel that as satisfaction that fulfillment and you're going to work with people in harmony there is going to be a lot of harmony i'm getting here domestic harmony as well 
yeah peace domestic harmony that's what i'm getting here so yeah that's the message i received for you guys uh, i hope it made sense i hope it resonated if it had given me a thumbs up i'll see you soon bye bye if the last digit of your birth year is number seven then this message is for you so god has a bigger plan for you what is god planning for you next uh, so the first message i'm getting is like look at this person and this dragon they are in harmony with each other this person is playing the flute and the dragon is just enjoying there is so much harmony they both are at the same place enjoying this company right and i feel like that's what it is uh, so you are going to have that kind of relationship where two people are together even without talking uh, they know each other very well and they're in harmony their energy match their frequency match uh, they are uh, uplifting each other uh, they are uh, they yeah they are growing both of them are growing in their life and they're helping each other to evolve something like that amazing partnership if you're single definitely i feel like an amazing partner is coming your way where there will be a lot of harmony domestic harmony will be there so if you yeah again that's the energy domestic harmony peace in family harmony in family if there has been misunderstandings if there has been chaos that is what is dissipating and your your uh, you're seeing more harmony domestic harmony in your life okay if you're single definitely a person who will match your match you right your energy you're meeting them and this relationship is going to be amazing so for some of you an amazing partnership maybe a business partnership or friendship for some of you uh, you are meeting uh, friends who are like family you're meeting people who are of your vibe and there is a lot of harmony yeah okay so let's see group number seven What is the plan? What is the plan for you? Listen. Oh, I saw ring, ring. So maybe for some of you, you're getting proposed, you're getting married. That is also there here. We have lot of keys, lot of openings here. Uh, so we have this lizard as well, and the lizard cuts the tail, right? Cuts the tail in in order to survive, and then it new tail grows. So you have also survived lot of hardships, and now that chapter is over. Now you don't have to survive anymore. Now you can grow your to tail beautifully. Because look again, we have this repair. You have done that kind of healing work. I see that here uh, for this group here. And now what it is, what is happening is change. You are opening new doors for you guys. You are open. Yeah, Yeah, you're going to meet people who are going to match your frequency, who will help you. Like you're meeting a person who will be your business partner, and this kind of business partner you didn't have. Both have the same goals, same vision, and both are working uh, in harmony. And once the two people have the same vision, same goals, you're going to see the success, right? That's what it is. For some of you, three blessings. Three blessings are coming your way. You have worked really, really hard for these ble blessings. Three new doors are opening for you guys. Uh, that is also something I'm getting here. So maybe this uh, this is going to affect three areas of your life. But there is definitely love. Love is there because we have two keys as well. Love is definitely there for some of you here. For some of you, becoming a parent is also there. And as you're becoming a, a parent, things are actually blossoming in your life. Your relationship is becoming much stronger. Uh, sometimes people say when kids, uh, you know, when there are small kids arrives, uh, relationship goes through hard times. But for you guys, that's not happening. Actually, your relationship will become more stronger. Uh, yeah so you don't have to survive anymore that's what it is you don't have to be in your survival mode anymore you're getting out of that survival mode because you don't have to be with people who are who make you feel like that that you have to be in the survival mode now you're going to be with people where you can express yourself today like again uh, today i don't feel great So can I take a break? Yes. You maybe yeah. That's it. That's it. Uh, like that. You don't have to uh, over explain yourself. Over please. No, you can be you, and they match you. They're okay with it. They're comfortable with it. Right. That kind of relationship. That kind of people. That kind of environment. You're going. No more survival mode. I'm getting like you don't have to be in the survival mode anymore. You will be provided. you will have more than enough right 
that's the energy here we have this saturn energy as well your yeah your hard work is going to be paid yeah three things are opening for you guys for sure for some of your pregnancy is there i'm getting your new beginning right with that motherhood fatherhood that is also there yeah okay so let's see uh what else here for group number seven God is planning. We have Ashura of the Northwest. Oh, we look at the zebra, right? Zebra and the lines, exact lines. It's unique. It's unique, isn't it? It's beautiful. The stripes and all. Your life is becoming more beautiful. You're being recognized for who you are. You're being seen. You're not invisible anymore. You're being taken care of. People are showing you the love. Because you are understanding that you are meant to be loved. You are getting that love guys. You are receiving more and more and more love. Yes. You are receiving that love in relationship. If you were someone who used to love people more. This time it is like you are going to be loved more. I am not saying that you will not love more. But this person will love you more. Or this friend will be there for you. Maybe you were the friend who was always there for other people. But now you are getting a friend that will be there for you. It's, the, it's that kind of energy. So that's why you don't have to be in survival mode anymore, right? Because you're going to get that love. You will be provided with security, with peace. You will be loved for who you are. You don't have to please anyone. You don't have to try too hard. You being you, you being your authentic version, showing who you are. Yeah, because you are someone who can love deeply and you are showing that love and you are giving, you are being given that love. So, I am I will give you an example. When a child is born, right? The child cries because they know they have to get that food to survive, isn't it? And they know that it's their right to have that milk, to have that food, right? Because that's how it is. So children, the newborn will cry to get that food and, uh, and they have been provided with. Like that's the energy. Uh, you don't have to cry though, but yes, you will be seen. The zebra, like you've been seen and you know, people are providing you with what you want. You Now you don't have to over please, overdo. So again, this is a relationship, you're meeting someone. You don't have to please them to make them feel like that you are a marriage material anymore. They are going to be committed to you. That's what I'm getting here. That's the energy. If it's like a business partnership, you don't have to prove that you are very skilled. Like they see that. You don't have to overdo anything. Because when we start doing overdoing, overthinking, we become in the survival mode, whether we will get it or not, right? So again, it's like the survival mode where we where we're just um, pleasing them, changing ourselves for them, compromising, sacrificing, and we are not getting anything back. That's gone. That is over for you guys. That that nothing like that anymore. Now you will be seen. You will be loved for who you are. You will be recognized for you who you are. Your flaws will be loved because that is meant to be loved, right? You're you're not going to be uh, hurt because of your flaws. No, this person is going to love your flaws, and they will help you to improve it because you will be in that energy when you're loved. You will be able to confront your shadow, and you will be able to work on your habits as well. So again, this feels like two people who are in love coming together and they're giving everything each other needs and they're thriving. That's what the energy I'm getting here. Okay. So you don't have to prove yourself to anyone anymore. <laughs> That's the energy. You don't have to prove yourself. You used to, you tried to, but it didn't work, right? It put you in the survival mode. It made you doubt yourself. It put a lot of doubt, a lot of fear into you. Nothing good happened out of it, right? Now you're repairing it. You're loving yourself, I see that. And now this person, like again, it's like your heart had this empty space, right? That was never filled. Someone is coming and filling that empty space. Like healing you. Someone is healing you in a way, I feel. Like you're meeting someone who is... Helping you heal. It can be a teacher. It can be 
as I mentioned, a love relationship. It can be a friendship. It can be a business partner uh, who is healing you. Uh, uh, yeah, acknowledging you, uh, loving you for who you are. Yeah. So let's see what is the plan for you. One thing you need to do is to appreciate yourself more. That is the work you need to do. Love yourself more. Uh, yeah. Look. Someone is ready to give you that sta stability. You don't have to prove yourself for that. Yeah. Again, you don't have to prove that you, you know how to take care of a home. Because they're like, you come to my home. Let's both take care of this home. Right? That's what the energy is, right? Yeah. Something that you wanted all your life, you're getting it in a very easy way. You might have tried to get this thing you tried your best you did the hard work but you never got it but the same thing now you're getting it getting it in a very easy way i'm getting that kind of energy here it, it really feels like someone is coming in your life and changing your life for the best a friendship as i mentioned this is a i'm getting the energy of a person who is going to teach you so much more about yourself as well because when we are with the correct person, yeah, who really wants the best for us, we learn so much about ourselves. And you're learning more about yourself. And so you are letting go of the parts of you that shamed yourself, right? That made you feel like you're not good enough. You're releasing all that. <clears throat> you're not going the rabbit hole anymore. You, in your life, you might have gone the, down the rabbit hole. Same kind of relationships, same kind of uh, outcomes, right? Same thing again and again and again. You're not, you're not going that rabbit hole anymore. You're out of that. Okay, so let's see. Rather, you're making beautiful memories. Okay, you're creating new beautiful memories. So let's see. We have the mother. Oh God, for maybe for some of you, there was this wound, mother wound, right? Someone is healing that mother wound. Again, what is a mother? Actually, a mother feeds their newborn, loves unconditionally, gives all the love. Yeah, for some of you, definitely I, I mentioned becoming a mother is there. Maybe you thought that you can never be a good mother, but that's changing. You know, you're realizing it, it was because you didn't get that motherly love. You didn't get that nourishment. That's why you thought that you cannot nourish. But this person is yeah, filling that space and making you realize that you can be an awesome mother. Uh, because you are someone who can love unconditionally. Again, this is what it is. Unconditional love you're getting. Oh my God, that's what it is. You're vibing with someone who's giving you that unconditional love. What is unconditional love? You don't have to prove anything. They just love, uh, love you for who you are. Mothers have that unconditional love for the kids, right? But sometimes we... Don't get that. Maybe you didn't get that kind of love. And now you're getting that kind of love. That unconditional love. You're going to see that unconditional love. You, you might be someone who has given that love. You, but, but you never received that. But now you're receiving that unconditional love. Without any... Uh, yeah, they don't want anything back from you. They're just loving you for who you are. That's what I was talking about, isn't it? How, how a mother loves their kids unconditionally uh, awesome mother like a, a balanced mother a, 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 yeah there are mothers I, I agree sometimes yeah there are mothers like that who don't do that but yeah but here it's like for some of you maybe you had you didn't had a good relationship with your mother and that made you feel like you cannot be a good mother because you were taking your mother's energy, but this person is coming and making you realize about your strength, like how how lovely you are, how much love you give, how much kind hearted you are. So you are ready to have an awesome family, guys, with your kids and all. That's what I'm getting here. If you never thought that you will have that, you're having that. You're going to become an awesome mother. You're healing your mother wound here. Someone is coming and healing that. I feel like this is a person who is who is teaching you, like you're who is making you realize about your the way you love other people they are giving you that exact love that you used to give to other people but you never got it back so that's why you thought that you don't deserve that but now that's healing here you're healing your mother wounds and that's why 
you're going to get that love right now you don't have to be in the survival mode you know when if there is a very tough mother you will be in survival mode you will be in fear all the time so maybe that's how you lived your life not anymore now you can be with this person and you don't you don't have to prove yourself you don't have to please nothing like that yeah okay so you will have the peace of mind wow look we have the womb as well for some of you definitely getting pregnant is there yeah again this the mother wound you're healing the mother wound here okay so let's see Group number seven. <laughs> Look, ten of swords. Your life has been very tough. I see that. But now you're not going to live that kind of life. You're going to be in harm. You're living in harmony, peace with this person. You're getting that love that you give to other people. You don't have to please anyone anymore. You're not going to be betrayed by anyone. Maybe you've been betrayed by someone who you love, who you trust. Not anymore. You can trust people now. you can have faith like yeah this person will be there for me even i even if i don't provide provide anything this person is going, going to give me because this person loves me unconditionally maybe you haven't had that setting maybe you had to prove yourself to get something not anymore that's changing here yeah oh you look again the hero for hero point it's like learning to live life in a new way again you know this is like the household values that you got when you were a child you had to prove yourself to be loved you have to get this much mark in order to be loved you have to be that good girl, girl or boy to be loved you cannot be you you cannot express yourself that's the way you might have been raised you might have been programmed right so that's that that's what you felt like in uh, then in relationship also those patterns happened right same thing happened same thing again and again and again until you realize that's not who you are because there is someone who is showing you that that's not needed you don't have to prove yourself so what it is what is happening you're releasing that old values and you're learning new things like you can be loved unconditionally you don't have to prove yourself you can be you your energy is yeah you, you yeah that's what it is you're you're understanding that all you need to be is to be you you can be you you don't have to prove to the world you don't have to try too hard you don't have to please anyone you don't have to compromise your needs for other people you don't have to always sacrifice you're learning new things so this old things old programming you're letting it go and now this is new new way of living life yeah so let's see what else here for group number 7 it's like going back to school <laughs> you were in a school i'll just give you an example you were in a school where they they, they thought you like that's the programming childhood programming that in order to be loved you have to prove you have to do this you have to complete this task now you're changing it like in you don't have to do that all you need to do is to be you show yourself authentically and you will be loved your relationship with god is also improving because of it because maybe sometimes we feel like ah god will if we do something wrong god will punish us like because of the beliefs right now it's not like that it's like god always is there for us they will just show us the correct path they always try to uh, you know god is like a gps always trying to make us understand which way we need to go and there is no like punishing and all right you're changing that as well yeah so let's see look self respect and worthiness so no, yeah respecting yourself <sighs> respecting yourself loving yourself because i feel like when people don't love us when we are a child when we are told that we are not worthy we are not worthy all the time that we have to please we say that to ourselves but now that is that is what you're changing you're learning to love yourself again that you're worthy of who you are the way you are that's enough i am enough right 
you're learning this new things about yourself you're loving yourself because there is a person look we have a spiritual guidance i feel like there is someone who is in harmony who is helping you who is showing you the way this person is blind right again they have this stick that feels like this person is blind and this angel is showing them the way that's what it is you have been blind regarding yourself right you thought that you have to please in order to have this kind of relationship you have to prove yourself no it it feels like uh, for some of you as i mentioned there is a person who is helping you to, showing you the way and telling you that you are enough for other people this is your angel the connection with the angels so god is becoming strong so you know that you are worthy to have any, anything that you want you don't have to please you don't have to please god right god will be there with you always they love you for who you are yeah but sometimes we have to work on ourselves and they will show us the way and we have to go that way that's it but we shouldn't stop loving us we don't we don't have to criticize ourselves we don't have to feel like we have to always sacrifice we can get good things right that's the energy you're learning life in a new way you're changing your programming yeah okay so let's see the final message here for group number 7 news uh yeah it's like a news good news news for you guys this is like something new that you are learning about life oh this is how it is we can be the second see myself like this oh i'm this this is like news to you this is something new to you this there is someone who is teaching you that a new way of living life it it feels like you're getting the guidance from universe but for many of you i feel like someone is coming a mentor is there in your life a mentor a teacher a partner who is showing you that you don't have to be like this you don't have to survive you yeah you know sometimes we see i saw a video of a person yeah, yeah i think it's like a book someone wrote a person wrote a book something like that uh, you know uh, they in that uh, yeah so this person went to uh, their friend's home right their friend's home they went to their friend's home and um, and their friend dropped something down like a glass of uh, milk or juice something and this this person got very worried and they they, they thought that everyone will fight shout yell but nothing of that happened everyone together cleaned it and everyone was peaceful and that was news for this person oh my god this also happen in family that people don't shout when a glass of milk is down right is is it's like if the glass broke no one is shouting everyone is cleaning together that's that's news right that's something different there that this person has not seen because in their family it's always yelling shouting beating so they have to be in the survival mode they are fearful but now they are seeing something different in other people family and then they are realizing oh that's not a norm then something is clicking oh that's not real we can let it go like that's the thing you was going to see a lot of new things that you didn't even see before and that's changing a lot of things for you in your life okay so uh, i hope this made sense i hope it resonated if it did give me a thumbs up i'll see you soon bye bye the last digit of your birth year is number 8 then this message is for you god has a bigger plan for you what is god planning for you next if you look at this uh, person this person is looking forward and they have utter faith it feels like she has utter faith in her passions in her beliefs that she can conquer anything and she can get her uh, wish come true because she knows she has a higher power who is taking care of her and helping her in her journey in her transformational journey here so yeah so this is the time to have faith this is the time to have utter faith don't waver believe in yourself and keep moving forward even if you're not seeing your wishes come true you are in this journey where you will learn a lot of things you will go through a lot of twist and turn but you are going to get your wish come true here uh, so i was attracted to a Uh, affirmation for you guys maybe this is something that you need at this time so maybe write it down i will say that affirmation for you guys i am safe in the universe and all life loves and support me, supports me okay i'll say it again i'm safe in the universe and all life loves and supports me so maybe this affirmation is what you requ it's required for you guys today maybe uh, 
today you got to you know always uh, just say this affirmation again and again and again and today that will be really beneficial for you guys i'm getting so it's about your passion it's about your wish it's something that you want to see in your future right this is about that and here this vision this goal of yours is possible but you have to walk the path in order to get that you have to learn a little bit you have to go through that uh, the twist and turn to learn so much about yourself so don't worry you will reach it but there is little bit of twist and turn what you need to do is to trust and have faith that's what i'm getting so let's see and i'm i'm being a tool like hope and faith hope is someone who hopes but faith is like they are going to get it no matter what because they has this faith in this higher power that this is mine but hope is like i can just hope it will come maybe it will come right but faith is like i know it will come it is mine there is a huge difference between hope and faith so if you are writing your desires now have a box that is called the faith box let go of that hope box so i'll see uh, I, for you guys maybe keep a box a box and write all your desires and keep that box and name that box faith right and have that faith that immense faith is required from your part in order to get to your wishes that faith is required as you step as you take that one step one step one step the universe is going to be with you you're protected god is with you but have that faith okay just don't have hope have faith so we have this heart and the sun like look it feels like you know when you want something universe conspires right it feels like when you want something when you're seeking something you it will seek you back so with this heart and the sun as you're doing something that you really really love universe is going to show you the path it will reveal the things one step at a time so don't try to know everything don't try to know everything so these are like ideas you will be getting so if you are someone who is a creative or a healer or whoever you are if you're working on something you're going to get that ideas so trust that idea and work on it have faith in that idea and work on it um look again you are safe you can trust this idea you can trust this path and and as you trust this path the obstacles are going to be removed things will change for you guys uh so i'm i'm feeling there is this desire in you uh, i'm getting this example of jk rowling uh, she wrote harry potter before she wrote harry potter she had a lot of failures i feel like uh, yeah many 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 failures she has faced and she talks about in an interview that she just got the download for that book and it's a magical book it's different book it's unique right everyone loved it so again she she told like she just got that idea out of nowhere from the higher realms right and she wrote it so like that something you will be getting from the higher power right from the god you will get an idea but what you need to do is to have faith in that idea and as you get that idea you have to take that leap of faith you have to take that action don't get you know when once we start get worried when once we start doubting it we might not pursue it so so let go of that and you're safe you can you can trust this idea and work on it so this is about an idea this is about your passion you are you are a very passionate person there is some sort of downloads you will be getting that will yeah and you as you walk one step that is when the next step will be shown that is what i'm getting okay so let's see uh it Yeah. Okay. We have the key nest at the north, and look at the nest is there. Like in her head, there is this nest. So in order to you know create the nest, the bird has to collect lot lot like branches and all, and it takes one branch at a time, and then it collects collects, and then it makes this nest here. For you guys also, it's like that. Only one idea after another idea. All you need to do is to trust it. right you are going to give one key after one, one other key and there will be one door then you open then you open next door right you have to trust that so this is like ideas coming to you uh yeah ideas i'm getting like uh, for some of you if you are a creative healer you're getting this ideas to do this to do this way this thing 
trust it and take action because it's going to give you that kind of beautiful outcome that you truly want okay you're going to create a safe yeah safe place for yourself so again as jk rowling she started writing and she trusted and then after one book she wrote another book she wrote, yeah she got the success and that uh, book was made into a movie right like that this is like you write if you're an author you're going to get one one idea you pursue that and as you pursue that you will get next one next one all you need to do is to trust it and keep moving forward with it okay so let's see and if you look at her eyes it's also fixed on something she has a desire and she knows that she is going to make that desire of hers come true she has the key this key is she trusting and having faith in the higher power she trust herself as well she trust her idea because she knows she is getting that idea from the higher realms and she is ready to work on it even if she is not seeing the uh, yeah if she is not seeing the fast progress she is okay with it because she knows she will get it she is not afraid of failures because she is so focused on that goal of hers yeah yeah that, that's message here so let's see what else here so we have the velaris and the carpenter hmm so uh, you know avoid the traps as well uh, avoid yeah avoid the trap i'm getting the trap is like the doubt not trusting the idea not trusting your intuition feeling like ah it will not work out like uh, sometimes when we don't see the results coming very fast we can get into a trap of self doubt not believing in ourselves not believing in that higher power so that's why the faith and hope i was talking about right um uh, yeah uh, did i mention uh, it like the hope uh, you have to have that faith i did mention faith and hope and faith is different right uh hope is just hoping for it but faith is like that uh, that yes it will happen so don't fall into the trap of like when yeah it's like when i see it then only i will believe it don't fall into the trap believe it until you see it okay yes believe it until you see it because your ego mind can come look this feels like the fight between our ego mind and the spiritual side the side that wants to believe in the magic and that ego mind is telling us no it's not possible the logical and intuitive mind there is this fight you have to make peace with that yes sometimes being logical is important right but don't fall into a trap of feeling not good enough doubting yourself no don't fall into that trap here okay have faith because god god is there for you you are safe you will be provided like so all you need to do is to have that faith faith not only hope hope won't do faith is required okay so let's see eighth group so we have the tear here oh tear yeah releasing that uh, i feel like tear is about releasing isn't it when we are sad we cry we release uh, so uh, that's what it's time to release the fears the doubt the failures like it's time to release those uh, fear of failure sometimes the fear of failure or uh, because of the past is so 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 strong that we fall into the trap of not believing or we feel like oh if i get it then only i believe it if i see in my 3d then only i'll believe it that's the trap here don't fall into that trap anymore believe in it and as you believe in it you're going to see it so believe in the, that idea or work on that idea until you see it because you will see it for sure okay so let's see we have the judgment okay so oh wow we have the ace of swords and the ace of uh, cups the new beginning yeah this is a new fresh idea that you're 
getting a new fresh idea that you're getting you need to nurture that idea so this is like a this is like a new path new direction you're getting yeah you're getting this idea like the nest yes again you're getting the resources this resource is from the uh, is from yeah this resource is in the form of the ideas that you're getting here right what you need to do is to nurture this idea to trust this idea to have that faith and keep moving forward because after this one idea you will get the next and you are going to see the result but you have to have that faith what you need to nurture is faith and the more you love yourself the more you uh, more you trust yourself the more it is going to be beneficial for you guys okay so that's what i'm getting here this is like something that you want to do we have the rainbows here as well right uh so uh, the past i feel like the past failures can make you doubt yourself that is what you need to cut don't fall into that trap here uh this is this is something that you're meant to have you're meant to have this thing you're meant to have that wish you're meant to have that success but for that you will have to walk a path where there will be a little bit of twist and turn but you have to keep trusting keep trusting keep trusting keeping having that faith in divine and keeping uh, keep you uh, you're yeah, feeling that uh, safety in the world like you're safe to do this believing it until you see it so there is an idea that is coming your way right there is this is an idea that you're getting from the higher realms pursue this idea nurture this idea give that love to this idea keep on working on that idea because this idea is going to give you the success so don't let past failures doubt stop you okay this is your new beginning that yeah this is this is a beautiful beginning for you guys this idea yeah this idea it will start with an idea but as you take steps towards this idea this is going to give you so much of beauty so much of happiness that you actually that you actually want okay okay so let's see what else here fall group number 8 look your angels are with you this person is like this oh why look and i was talking about writing and all right author i mentioned author and look they are all behind your back giving you ideas but they're telling you to trust trust the timing because there is timing they are giving you the ideas right but but sometimes we are so focused on the results we want fast results so when it doesn't come we start believing that it's not going to happen it's not going to work out but no they're giving you the ideas so let go of that stress let go of that worry because you're supported you're protected you're loved you're encouraged by your angels your angels are watching over you okay so as i mentioned this is like uh, uh, you're getting ideas from your uh, from your angels from god whoever whoever you believe in and right now maybe you're in this position a little bit of stress is there release that because you have been watched over you're not alone you're safe in the universe so so as i mentioned there is an idea that is going to come write it down believe in it and believe in the magic and as you believe in the magic you're going to see the magic pouring in your life okay So let's see the final message here. I would recommend meditation for you guys if you're a little bit stressed or yeah meditation will be really really helpful for you guys to uh connect with the god or with uh, angels so you can get their message ideas you will get ideas when you're relaxed right that is when you get the idea and you need to trust you need to trust in this higher power and believe in yourself believe in your own power so can you just trust can you just have that faith utter faith is required here and we have this true love like again you you are going to see that love of the universe you are going to see the love of the god but you got to have that faith and that belief here that's what you need to cultivate okay as you cultivate that you're going to see the beautiful things that you want to see if you believe in it you're going to see it that's what the message is from for you guys i hope it made sense i hope it resonated if it did give me a thumbs up i'll see you soon bye bye
if the last digit of your birth year is number nine then this reading is for you god has a bigger plan for you what is god planning for you next okay and if you look at this image this uh, you know there is a small uh, small like the child is there and the mother is there and they have all the treasure it's safe it's protected right the feeling of safety protection clarity is there very strongly here and i'm getting like you have cultivated a mindset so for example a person who has cultivated the prosperity mindset they're not going to uh, think in lack and hence if you're not thinking in lock, lack you're going to get that prosperity so it, it's like an app that plays so an app is like a set of programs right and whenever we play that app it will give you that same results that's what you have cultivated in your life congratulations for that because building that kind of mindset is very difficult right you have to be very consistent with your thoughts you have to discipline your thoughts and now you can relax now because things are working because before things were not working because you had that lack mindset but you kept working on your lack mindset and you you changed it you transformed right transformed into this prosperity mindset now you can just relax because whatever you want it's going to come your treasures are protected uh yeah you know how to manifest certain things you know how to feel like you, you're you're not thinking uh in a negative way i see that you're not uh, or you're not concerned about the outcomes you do your work and you're peaceful you're calm and you get the results because you're not holding anything too tightly you know it's yours so you don't have to hold it tightly you know everything is safe so you don't have to hold it tightly that's the energy i'm getting so you are someone who is spiritually you have grown as a person i feel like that so here what it is uh, i feel like you have cultivated a certain mindset now you can just relax and sleep because you're going to get it so for example if you see um, you know have you seen people uh, uh, like for example i'll just give an example of um, social media okay so a person who has made made a mark right they don't have to worry they will get people they will people will come and watch their content anyways right because they have made that mark that's what i'm getting here with this mindset you have changed your game you have you are you are not thinking like the past version of you anymore you are this you have gone through that rebirth and this is a new version of you who is thinking in abundance thinking in prosperity who is thinking in a positive way very optimistic energy and that's why you're getting that optimism so your life is going to be very beautiful that's what i'm seeing here so let's see group number 9 Wow look you're carrying luck you're carrying your luck with you you know that right uh, there is a mindset lucky mindset is there right you're carrying that mindset with you yet you're very humble i, I really look we have the angel wings as well you're very you are someone who is very spiritual i have to say you have learned so much You have, you, yeah, you have learned from your experiences. You are not someone who makes the same mistakes again and again and again. You learn from your mistakes and never make that mistake again. You, you learn, yeah, you learn things, and you know what you don't have to do. You know what you have to do more, and you do that. That's why you are shining. You are like the peacock shining. People are noticing you. People are recognizing. So what you are getting is like recognition for your work, for your craft. there will be people who will tell you that you're lucky but you know that why are you lucky yeah because you have done the work that's why you you know you have you know it's 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 not an easy thing maybe for many years you might have been uh, trying to get into that kind of mindset you know it's not easy to be in that mindset where you are just letting go of everything you're detaching yourself uh, when you know you have to detach right you know sometimes detachment is very important and i i see that sometimes we are so much into our outcome that we just think about the outcome like i want this i want this and we are holding too tightly you're not doing that you're doing your work you're doing whatever work you are doing you're doing it with a lot of peace you're enjoying your work you're giving your best you're you're learning well you're doing yeah whatever you could do you're giving your 100% and then you're like i've done my 100% divine give the rest uh, all all of, all the rest is upon you i'm not taking anything i am not focusing on the how i'm just doing what my work is and i'm just just you know i'm just slow i'm just relaxing <laughs> and give me the result and you're getting the result 
Wow, that's what the energy is, is. You are shining. Yeah. It's because of you. So, yeah. <laughs> so, amazing things. Your treasures are protected. Things are growing in your life. Financially, you know, spiritually, you're moving forward. Relationships are going to be so beautiful. Your family is safe. Yeah, every every area of your life is thriving. I have to say, you are thriving. You're glowing up. Okay, so let's see. <laughs> wow, look at it. Look at the number four. We have matter, materia, medica. It's all about materialist. Yeah, again, look, she is. Look, look, she's so calm, quiet. She knows. She don't have to like run, 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 run. She don't have to chase. She can attract. You're in that energy, guys. Yes, this is your mindset shift that is changing the whole game for you guys. She's relaxed. Even the monkeys are relaxed. Relaxed. Have you seen monkeys? I saw a video of a monkey. A woman was doing makeup with a monkey. The monkey was jumping and jumping and jumping and jumping. They were not just sitting. They will take the makeup. They will jump. 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 And I was like looking at the video and I was like, oh my God, that person is so patient because I will never be that patient because I will just like, oh my God, I will just be on my toes because someone is doing this kind. It's so much. It's too much, right? They're just jumping, jumping. And uh, yeah, and, but look at these monkeys. Are they jumping? No, they are just quiet. She's quiet. She's relaxed. She's in her energy. She is like mindful. She's mindful of her thoughts. She is mindful of her uh, actions, right? She knows what to say, when to say. She knows when to be calm. She knows when to be silent. She knows. She knows it. She has that. She has learned from her experiences, and she is using her experience to her advantage. I feel like that. She again. We have the orange as well. It feels like she is giving them all the vitamins. Uh, she is taking all the vitamins. She is feeling that vitality. She's in peace. She's calm. She's not worried about the future. She's not worried about the unknown. And once we are in that energy, we achieve amazing things. We live, like we not only live our life, we enjoy every moment. We are, yeah, you're embracing the joyfulness. And you're seeing so much abundance in your life, group number nine. And I feel like this is because you are in this mindset. So you can manifest anything here. That's what I'm getting here. You plan something, you want something, divine will give you that. God will give you that. Yeah, and we, we have the hibiscus as well. So again, you have let go of a version of you. This group has let go of this old version of them. You're not going to this old version of you who thought that money is very hard to get. This is a new version of you that you are right now focusing on where you know that money will come to you. All you need to do is to listen to your intuition and take action on the things that you want to grow. Yeah, because action is definitely required, right? So you know when to take action, when not to take action because sometimes we overdo things when we don't have to. So it feels like when you're very connected with your heart, you're very connected with the source, you're very connected with your heart already and now you're going to see the magic. You have already seen, I feel like that, you're going to see more of it. And if there is any area of your life where you feel a little bit like things are not progressing, I feel like you're making peace with it. You're making peace with it. Once you're making peace with it, things are going to flow here. You're blossoming. Okay, so like that's beautiful. So let's see what else here for group number nine. Wow, look, the queen of hearts. In, in this look, she is in her power. She knows her deal. That's what I'm picking up. Yeah, she, her crown is there. She knows what's best for her, what's best for her family. She's very connected with her heart. Right with this queen of hearts, I'm getting the queen of cups energy. She is very emotional. That's what I'm getting from this guy. Yeah, I know in Ellie's she is she is a little strict kind of queen, but that's not the energy I'm picking here. The queen of uh, hearts, she is very sure of her heart. She is nurturing herself. She is nurturing other people. She is nurturing herself. She is giving that all energy to herself. That's why she is able to pour so much to other people. She is nurturing herself. She is taking care of herself. That's why she is able to give so much to other people i'm seeing I, I i'm seeing like you will have enough so you will be able to give to other people as well 
maybe this is uh, your wisdom that you're giving to other people maybe this is a story that you're sharing you know stories sometimes when we share with people it really really helps them in their life that is enough right you're sharing your story or maybe you're being there hugging them your warmth your energy whatever you you're giving it in abundance because you have it in yourself in abundance right that is the energy i'm getting it's very beautiful energy and you're glowing you're thriving maybe you're seeing a lot of tenten uh, as well tenten uh, that's something i saw and tenten portal yeah this portal has opened uh, yeah this portal of great luck this tenten portal after this you're going to see great luck in your life luck meaning because you have cultivated that mindset that's why okay so let's see group number 9 where else here okay we have the offering here hmm the offering giving right again i'm feeling like you have again it feels like a person who is taking care of themselves who is in the present moment who is who has this abundant mindset they're trusting their heart they're taking action so as they're giving themselves a lot they're able to offer a lot because your cup is overflowing and you're going to give that overflow you are not going to get drained you're giving that overflow you have enough to give to other people that's where you're headed you will have a uh, this abundance overflow of abundance this is not only going to serve you but it is also going to serve other people so your wisdom will be helping other people it's like a, you are offering a hand to other people you are helping other people you are living your purpose through number 9 so you are in this energy where you are thriving where you are glowing you are living an abundant life and people are very curious maybe there will be people who will be curious like how this person is living this kind of life how this person is so lucky and as they ask those questions you can offer them the guidance like what you did how you are in this space now how you you have transformed your life so you are going to give that wisdom that offering that will help other people to evolve in their life isn't it that amazing that's so amazing helping other people you're going to help other people that's what it is you're going to give your wisdom maybe financially you will be helping people you will you will have enough to help other your or maybe it's through your energy your wisdom your guidance you're you're offering a helping hand to other people and that that offer that you're giving it's going to change other people's life in amazing ways okay so group number 9 again she has this orange you're like an orange to many people giving them vitamin c <laughs> that's the energy i'm picking up so yes they lack that vitamin c and you give that so you're giving people something they're lacking the guidance yeah the guidance is what they are lacking and this guidance is help is helping them to build something in their life that they are lacking right so yeah okay let's see group number 9 look the two different energy nine of swords and 10 of cups you have overcome this nine of swords energy that's what i feel very strongly here now you're going to live a life of fulfillment happiness with this 10 of cups yeah we have the five of wands energy as well as yep check it here yeah okay so you have the tower card as well so you have a lot of cards look we have a uh, these three cards nine of swords five of swords the tower card well let's talk about this this is your past energy that i'm getting you have faced a lot of difficulties in your life as well you were not this kind of a uh, prosperous thinking person you didn't think in prosperity you cultivated that prosperity and when we are cultivating that thing it's it's difficult sometimes sometimes we have to give that faith that trust we don't have to focus on the how there might be times when you were so frustrated there might be times when you have seen delays in your life but all those delays all those frustration has thought you so much right has you because you have persisted you haven't been like you yeah there were times when you have been in this nine of swords and not chasing it there there has been times when you are like when i will get what i'm weaving because you have been like a spider weaving but yeah weaving 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 but you were not getting it did you yeah but 
yeah it, it's like that it's like it takes time sometimes to build our own mindset right to discipline our thoughts because when we are born we are giving that given that programming and it's not easy to come out of that old programming to become this a new person right you have to let go of this old version of you and 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 go through this rebirth stage and become this new version of you right that's what it's like the skin of the snake when they shed it's uncomfortable it's not that in an easy process you have gone through that uncomfortable emotions that with this tower card like thrown out of something some sort of ideas that you never thought about yourself like many times you might have face that our moment that epiphanies that really really help you to let go of this old version of you and now where are you headed look we have the 10 of cups in the chariot now you're very sure of yourself look we have the dark side and the light side you know your dark side and light side you know it you know your shadow side and once once a person knows that they know yeah this is my shadow side telling me that this is not possible but i i i i'm very aware of it i can release it and i can focus that on my light light side right so it's not that you are not so you're you it's not that you're suppressing your shadow side you're confronting it you're understanding it and you're taking the best approach that is good for you and that is what leading you to this kind of beautiful abundant prosperous life here with a lot of fulfillment here so i feel like with this tower card you have realized so much you have gone through a lot of spiritual awakening as well i feel like that um now to this life where you're moving forward you will be traveling a lot with your family i feel like that you will be enjoying great time with your family and i even feel like you will be helping your family we you have the deer as well sleeping right and when what you the image that you selected was the dragon sleeping right and your kids sleep uh, that dragon skill is also sleeping behind uh, like uh, yeah so that's something i'm getting here a lot of lot of peacefulness you're not worried about moving forward because you know it's about my mindset all i need to do is to trust myself my instinct and take action sometimes the fear will come up and when the fear comes up you know you confront that fear and once we start confronting the fear we can release it uh, the energy of this buffalos buffalos uh, yeah buffalos doesn't like the storms right so they just run towards the storm because when they run towards the storm they have to only spend little time there if they are running against it they have to spend more time so you are doing that you're confronting your shadow whenever it pops up because you know when you confront you can release it and you don't have to be stuck there but once you start running away from that that's when you're stuck there isn't it and i see that you're doing it because you i i really feel like you're a person who is uh, connecting with divine every day you have certain rituals to connect with divine nurturing yourself that is all paying off yeah your anxiety your stress your fear you're working on it you're releasing it you're not in competition with anyone you're just in competition with your past self and you're moving forward i see that so that's why you're moving towards this happy life of yours and and as your energy is vibrating so so high your frequency is so high it's not only helping you but other people as i mentioned you have so much to offer now yeah okay so group number 9 what else here we have forgiveness seeking freedom healing yes again we have that energy where you are healing everything uh your past you are healing your past your that old version of you doesn't exist anymore you have forgiven that you have forgiven yourself you have forgiven other people you are out of that energy now you are moving towards freedom i'm seeing financial freedom independence in relationships also uh relationships are equal you you and your part if you have a partner you're thriving your kids are thriving your family is thriving yeah you have you have worked on worked on it yes so let's see the final message here group number 9 okay that's oh we have the peacock again self expression <laughs> we have the self expression yes again you are becoming becoming a magnet 
uh, you're attracting good things into your life because you are loving yourself you're taking care of yourself you know that you're worthy to achieve good things great things amazing things your 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 energy is expensive you're you're seeing that how valuable you are you're seeing that you're worthy you're seeing that look we have the inner child you're making peace with your inner child you're healing your uh, child right that wounded child you you're working on that you're healing it wherever you thought that you're not worthy you're healing it and you're so you're you're coming in this energy where you 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 know that you deserve amazing things and you're understanding that you're skillful you're unique you're loving yourself and that love is what is giving you that kind of peace like you're loving yourself you're not worried about the results anymore you're in this peaceful energy wherever you are you're peaceful you're not jumping you're not running you used to be like a monkey who used to jump all the time and would go go from one one tree to another not anymore now you are like silent <laughs> you know you know that you don't have to jump when you have to take action you will know it and you will do you're not just jumping without thinking anything right like sometimes when you're overthinking we do all the sorts of things all sort of things we try to too much too hard you know you don't have to do it you can attract it that's the energy i'm getting here for you guys hope it made sense hope it resonated if it did give me a thumbs up i'll see you soon bye bye